door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair. From simple repairs to upgrades, it's A1 from day one. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Our springs, rollers, and openers are tested by running them up and down, open and closed, all day, 24-7, so you can feel confident with every A1 garage door repair. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the weather starts to warm up, keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling A1 Garage Door Service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law from Kaufman Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. The state of Florida is actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Kaufman Lynn. For more information, contact me at winnieudis.com or dial pound 546 on your cell. Officer Lynch. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D-printed, life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. New South Windows Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit newsouthwindow.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and C. Lane. It is Tuesday, April 9th at 2024. Lots to get to today, from Apple River stabbing bombshells to an update on the pregnant virgin stingray mystery and the new show exploding on Netflix. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, Seale. What's happening? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. Go to the news junkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch today you can also watch the show on youtube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie your message is rolling right into the studio in real time and it is friends a share the show tuesday yeah share the show. little tiny, tiny share little tiny, tiny share the show hold me hold me closer tiny share here we are <laughs> On a Share the Show Tuesday, this is when you you go out and evangelize for the show. And uh, we love you for doing it. Every Tuesday, you send somebody the link to the podcast. 
You send the link to the live stream. You send around the social media profiles. You hit like over there on that YouTube stream. You do it all in the name of a Share the Show Tuesday. How's everybody doing? On a Tuesday. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, pretty good. Hanging in there. Pretty good. Lots lots uh, going on. How's Jackson been? How's he doing over there? He's good. Uh, you know, he uh, didn't uh, didn't have a morning nap this morning, so that oh, means God. that means neither did I. Same, same. Oh, so, what, what time does that mean you're up at then? If you don't get the morning nap, kind of like seven. Ah, uh, it's not Wait, too bad. You take a morning nap, Zayla. If I have to get up with the with the baby, at what time typically? Uh, six or seven. Mm-hmm. You know, and then a lot of times it's, I have to get up because Ashley's leaving, so I have to like somebody has to be. In charge of this baby, and Ashley usually leaves, and then I go, "You ready to go for a nap time, baby?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now call me a monster, but what if there was a soundproof room? You know, uh, and then okay. you, you you put Jackson in the soundproof room, and then he, he got a little cry, and he goes, so, "Sleep until 10. So here's the thing: over the weekend, that practice was put into play. Mm-hmm. Um. I feel like that's the last thing you're supposed to do with the baby. Inadvertently. Well, no, I mean, there are people that, there are people that are on the self-soothing track, you know, where they say, let him cry it out. I don't know if he's old enough for that yet. But over the weekend, I woke up at some point, and er, Ashley was uh, uh, coming in, and she's waking me up, and, and I said, thanks for letting me sleep in. And she goes, I also slept in. I go, oh. I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, when you came to bed, you didn't bring the baby monitor in. Right. And plug it in on her on her nightstand is where I usually put it. Instead, I left it in the living room where it died. So the battery oh, died. Oh, no. Jesus, man. Jackson's crying. So, <laughs> J- little Jack woke up Saturday morning. Screaming. We don't know if he screamed. Screamed. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, he, he might he, he might not have. There was not poop everywhere. Okay, I don't know how <laughs> babies work in that sense. <laughs> Little Jackson's like, well, they abandoned me. Um, What's going on all, here? All we know for sure is that when Ashley woke up and went in there, he was asleep. Aww. And so everything was good. self Now, did he scream his ass off in between there? Possibly. I don't know. No, none of us. How would we know? Hey, I want to be involved in something. Is, uh, is that okay? Is it Jackson's um, life? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little piece of it, okay? I'm not asking for a lot here. I just want to have a little bit of involvement in Jackson's life on just one tiny little front here, if I could. What's that? I'm, I get super excited about the idea of watching Jackson eat little foods for the first time. Okay. And so I would like to at least be able to introduce, like, one new thing to his world. Like, Something that maybe will rock his mind. All like right. if, I, if I could be the first one to ever give him, like, macaroni and cheese or something. I don't know when you're allowed <laughs> to do that. That's a big you know? ask, man. I, like, something good, though. You know, first time, I'd be like, eh, remember when I did that? He's going to need some teeth, I think, before we start throwing macaroni in the mix. But he mm-hmm. has... Unless he baby birds it. <laughs> I yeah. probably can't do that. <laughs> he, That's crossing a line, I think. He has, uh, he has started, like, uh, uh, some real food... Like, we got some, like, carrot puree or peas. Mm-hmm. So he's making weird faces. We don't know. You know, if you're like, so, uh, I can't tell. Yeah. Um, Can I tell you one of my favorite things to watch? I, I just uh, I saw my friend who had posted the video of her kid, I believe, trying scrambled eggs for the first time. Yeah. And it's, to me, the funniest thing when there's, like, Dry heaving, honestly. It's just, <laughs> it's the funniest but thing to me. Dude, where they're like, ooh, ooh, what You is see this their food? brain going, right? Like, their yeah. brain is like, when they, they're mushing it around in their mouth, it's so exciting. They're like, what is this thing that I'm eating here? Yeah, and do I, I like it? I projectile vomit it everywhere. Yeah. Or, and, or do I hate it? I got to decide right now. And like, also, uh, like, I want to know, like, is he going to be as excited when I give him foods that I'm excited about? Like, the first time he ever tries bacon. Mm-hmm. Like, are you gonna like? Are you gonna, like he's gonna he, love it, man. Spit it out. <laughs> he's like, I hate this. I'm a You're vegan not my baby. son anymore. <laughs> Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers to the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. Embrace yourself, friends. This has visual elements, so it's up on the See It Now section of the News Junkie.com. This gives me all the willies and all the nillies. Oh, and I know exactly, blah. exactly what you're going to play. What am I going to play? You're going to play that new that Boeing flight, aren't you? Oh, no, no, no. I have that here somewhere. But um, we're starting out in Saudi Arabia, where there's a little bit 
of a bug invasion going on, you might say. Okay, it's a little bit of a beetle invasion, not the good kind, not the you know. <laughs> she loves you, yeah. The badger, yeah, yeah. the badger. Not, not that one. No, here's the type of beetle invasion that is underway <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. Uh, oh my dear God! They're everywhere. Check it out and see it now at thenewsjoker.com. Look at that. Look. Oh. oh, that's a hell no for me. I can't even look at it. <laughs> that is disgusting, man. Oh, no, thank you. Um, you know what would do, uh, what would be pretty efficient in at Ooh. least getting rid of the beetles uh, that are invading on the ground level there? Mm-hmm. A giant rolling stone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that could then, do it. Then you'd finally know who won Sealand. that battle. It's you've a been, long haul. You've been Did hanging you out with Jackson too much. <laughs> the, the transformation to, to dad is fully taking hold right now. Uh-huh, it's happening. Well, yeah, all right. <laughs> you say that, but I disagree. All right. Fine. How about right. we just get uh, Yoko Ono to come through and she'll uh-huh. take care what of it? What a stupid joke, Sabrina. Yeah, right? <laughs> Doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> we learned once again just how stupid the United States of America is because Google searches for my eyes hurt spiked after the total solar eclipse yesterday. Good, good. good. Which it was very, very cool in certain spots. But let me tell you something. I'm just going to be real here. It was cool in Dallas. It was cool in New York. It was cool where Austin was in Russellsville, Arkansas, or wherever he was. It was a dud here. It was like it was a bit of a dud. I mean, I certainly had moments like I had text you guys in all caps like I could see it. And I took a moment. You could see the crest of it. Uh-huh. I think I had uh, more fun yesterday with C Lane on just the roof and seeing how his drone works than it yeah. was the eclipse itself. Now, I have to give a shout out and thank you to Frank for allowing us to go up there. Uh-huh. The poor guy. He's like, look at this stone I got. And it's the stone that allows you to look at the sun. And then I try it. I'm like, Frank, you can't see anything. <laughs> try these look glasses, through the man. Stone? This, is, this is where you're supposed to be, my guy. How much did Frank pay for this stone? I don't know. gave it to him, I think. I think it was this a sounds gift. like a, a real Jack and the Beanstalk situation here. Like, I, I don't know if, uh, if he got a good deal. Uh, it, it, he, he got sold a false bill of goods, I think, oh, here. You, you can't look through a rock and see the solar eclipse, can you? I mean, I, you can see it a little bit, but the glasses certainly give you more vision. And then there oh, were yeah. some points where I'm like, I'm getting a bit of headache. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it was like the, the radioactive waves and the asbestos or something like that. But Could be. It was cool for a second. There's, there are some things up on the roof that normally you shouldn't spend a lot of time around. <laughs> Yeah, it's like but being in a did. microwave. It's it's not the greatest. <laughs> I noticed there was one little kid that was on the broadcast. Um, I don't know if this was Fox. Oh my God! I know it's, now. I know uh, what you're talking about. Let's see if you do. If you're gonna go <laughs> for two here, what did you? What do you think it is? It was uh, it was the kid that was setting up the giant telescope. Yeah. <laughs> the Got a ray kid. right in the eye. <laughs> see later. If you didn't see this, check this out. I have right? not seen it. All right, I'll put this up on see it now too. The little kid's got his big old telescope set up for the broadcast. And he's getting like a little piece of paper ready and he's got, all right, let me set this up. All right. He's trying to get everything perfect for the eclipse and boom, he blasts, he blasts ah! himself. He blasts himself in the right eye. I'll bring it back. You see the sun from his telescope. I mean, that's, yeah! that's retina damage for <laughs> sure. Right. It, it zaps him and he like physically goes, ah! <laughs> like he got hit with something. Like he got popped with it, and I'll put that up on See It Now. Idiot. Check that out over on the newsjunkie.com. But Google searches for eyes hurt spiked during the event yesterday. Uh, you know, that, did, did a couple people, like, get together and go, everybody Google eyes hurt so that uh, we can make the news? Because maybe. How, how many people really didn't know? I wanted to look, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I wanted to take a peek. Cause we you wanted to take a peek glasses. without glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley was the same way. And she's like, but what if I just look really really quick? Because because Ashley and I think when the world tells us no, why not yes? You understand what I'm saying? That's not always the best idea. I told told her, I was like, listen, you're not going to be like to look up there for enough time for your eyes to adjust to see Mm -hmm. what's happening. That's the amount of time it's going to take for the sun to screw up your eyes. Yes. If you just glance at it like. 
Like peekaboo, like you know, yeah, but you're not gonna one, see it. One you're not gonna minute see it. of enjoyment, see a big spot in your eye. One minute of enjoyment for a lifetime of pain. One whole it. minute, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, one minute of enjoyment for a lifetime of pain is worth it. I think that you you soak it in and you go. I remember when. It's remember when pain, we did you this. Just can't see. Tips of the news junkie.com and Brett emails. He said, forgot to mention that since I'm out here in the country, the coolest part of the eclipse was hearing the coyotes howling and the Ow. cows mooing all around me. I'm sorry. Did we lose some of our budget there? Uh, um, hearing, hearing the coyotes howling and the cows mooing. Mm. All around me. Nailed it. Okay. See, I, I didn't get the cows last time. I need, to, there you go. I need to be 360 in this. I do not have a coyote sound effect. No, your coyote was on point. I just didn't get a cow. So uh, one more time. Coolest part of this eclipse was hearing the coyotes howling. Oh, Sean. And the cows on, mooing. I mean, like, uh, mama, I made it for sure. <laughs> Third time a coyote. People like this. They like to be immersed in the stories. We bring them viral, and we do it 360. Someone and asked me, what did you do at work today? Well, I uh, howled <laughs> for a time. Hours. As soon as the moon completely covered the sun, it went dark, got cold, and the wild animals started sounding off everywhere. It was actually a very special and unique feeling being amongst na nature in that moment. Something I'll remember forever. Uh, he says, love y'all effers. Uh, thank you, Brett. Appreciate uh, that. You know what some people did during the four minutes or so of totality they had that I did, didn't even cross my mind? But I was, like, I was like, okay, that's huh. not a, the worst idea. <laughs> somebody definitely banged, though. I mean, even I'm though sure. I mean, just answer. mathematically, what somebody had to the have... other three minutes. Um, <laughs> no, uh, th there were uh, people shooting off fireworks. Oh. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. A fun idea. I, I saw some videos in, like, Indiana. I think I think it was the state of Indiana where 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 they had some of the darkness. Was that in the path? Uh, now I don't remember. They were close, if not, you know, more than um, we were for sure. But somebody got some video like uh, uh, from their drone, and uh, you could see some of their neighbors just like shooting off big fireworks, like Fourth of July. They only had four minutes to make it look cool. Uh, yeah, and I mean, yeah. I could get behind it. Fireworks for anything is is okay for me, but. Uh, we, just, we already got an eclipse Think of the on. dogs, man. Got other things to look at. All right, quick break. When we come back, we have so much to get to on a Share the Show Tuesday. A man went against 50 women who said he was a bad date. He took them to court. They battled it out. And now the results are in. How did it work out for this very brave or very dumb man? We shall find out. Wait till you hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Someday, Alexa will know everything. Alexa, how do I get rid of a deadbeat roommate? Try poisoning them. Uh. But until then, tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for. John Young Parkway at Princeton Street. Authorities are clearing up an accident there. All lanes are blocked on International Speedway Boulevard between Jacobs Road and Kepler Road due to an accident as well. There's a bit of slowdowns on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and approaching State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood, as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700 plus locations today. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring, a game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzite.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzite tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. 
Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Go with your gut. Your dog's immune system is based in the gut. A diet lacking in nutrients can cause itching, scratching, and a weak immune system. However, there is a solution. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. Dinovite. It took a grand total of two weeks. The dog stopped itching. The hair stopped falling out. Try Dinovite for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Learn more at Dinovite.com slash radio. Happier, healthier with every bite. Over a million pets helped with Dinovite. I feel occasional burning and stabbing in my hands as I age. I sometimes feel numbness and tingling in my feet as I get older. It's starting to get in the way of doing what I love. At Nervive, we hear you and we can help. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Now that I know, I'm taking control. Try Nervive Nerve Relief and say yes to healthy nerves. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. Homeowners, do you need a new patio, driveway, or front walkway? Install Brick Paver can give you a beautiful outdoor living space. Would you like a custom fire pit for relaxing with your family? Or a custom outdoor kitchen or pool deck renovation? Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do with spectacular results. Go to installbrickpaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. Get a free quote for your outdoor project. Project at 407 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years of experience and fantastic Google reviews. Call today and get $250 off your next project. Fire pits, paver driveways, patios, and pool deck renovation. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free quote and $250 off your next project now at 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. 40. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. New Hi, this is Earl Ron. New South Window lives Florida weather, and that's why our windows and doors are designed to take on severe hurricanes and the most intense heat. They're built and installed by us, meaning better value and a lifetime guarantee for you. Give your family security that lasts a lifetime. Get New South proud. For a limited time only, save 35% on New South Windows products and installation. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey 
Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. A1Garage.com. A1 from day one. Radio. 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 The game of magnets. Taking over the world one terrible person at a time. go over what he did wrong in just a moment here, just so you don't end up in the same boat there. I want to save you from that, all right? I think we both can agree that we need to avoid as many problems in our lives as we can. I and certainly make do. Smart decisions. I've made many bad decisions in my day. I know you have two, C-Lane, yeah, at least yeah. one or two or whatever. You know, we got a couple in the mix. And this guy, oh, he made a real bad, 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 bad decision and we'll get to him in a moment. I've made 11 11 yeah, I'm up there, too. And I, when I look back on them, I think I should have known they were bad decisions as I was mm-hmm. making them, but uh, you never do. And then you know, I thought the other day, I was like, you know what Dylan has not done, really? He's not, like, called me up and gone, Dad, what I'm should I do? I'm in jail. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> well what should I do? Th- thankfully, he hasn't done that, all right? I'm thankful that he hasn't gone, Dad, I'm in jail. I don't want to hear those three words ever, but... I've escaped that so far. I'm just thankful that he hasn't done that, but also a little bit hurt that he hasn't been like, you know, what What should I do in my life next? What, what's some advice you can give me from all your years on this planet, Dad? Um, Who do you he, think he he's asking ask. instead? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. like it. His his pool of people to choose from is dwindling, and he doesn't seem to be going to me. It's, it's uh, He maybe thinks he's got it figured out. Which I know I did, right? I mean, like, a lot of times when we're young and in our early 20s like he is, you think, everybody is else, is, yeah, I figured this out. All these other people are Without dummies. a doubt, when I was in my 20s, I'm like, this is grown up. Got it. No problem. Mm-hmm. I, yep. I, I, I've made it this far. This must be a breeze moving forward. And then it was late 20s and 230s that I was like, okay, there's a little bit more growing up to do. Yeah, emotionally you, and mentally. It, you learn some things, and you learn as as you fail, unfortunately. You pick up a lot of things from that. Um, and, you know, I'm sure we will as well when we tackle this story in a moment. Been watching, and I say been watching. I mean, uh, last night started binging a, a brand-new show that's Ooh. getting a bunch of buzz on Netflix right now. I'm not sure if either of you have heard of this just yet, but it's called Parasite the Gray. Is that oh. Popped up on your radar yet? No. I uh, um, I binged uh, the Three Bodies one yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I've heard good things about that. Did you like watching it? That. I, we, yeah, we were watching it, and like, I think it uh, required a little more attention than Ashley wanted yes. to pay at the time, um, because you do have to read some of it, some of it's mm-hmm. subtitled. Mm-hmm. And then I wanted to go watch it again, and she was like, I think I know what was going on. I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it. It is quite confusing, but uh, yeah, I have not heard about the Parasite one. Parasite the Grey is not subtitled as much as it is dubbed over by default much like squid game so i think it's which South means that Korean. you have, which means that you probably have the at uh, the option of watching it subtitled with its original audio instead yes but i've kind of grown fond of the voiceover when as, they tried to get like a western sounding person to match up with a south korean on screen it's like no, put that over there now. And just like that weird like anime I sound. Mean, and- if they if they really do their due diligence, first of all, you got to know that your thing is going to succeed in the States. Mm-hmm. I don't know that they knew that Squid Game was going to be as huge as it was. Probably not. But yeah. I, th- I didn't find their voiceover people to be overly Western. They weren't too much like that. They were. They sounded more like North Korean folks. And some of these people do a little bit. I'm just saying, when they speak in English over the dub, things are so uh, exaggerated. Like they'll be like, "No, don't put that over there, my friend." And you can, like, just like really stilted and uncomfortable the way they say stuff. But I kind of like it. I don't know why. I dig it. And Parasite the Grey. I guess it comes from an anime. It's not an anime that I'm familiar with. Nothing I'm to do only... with Parasite the movie. 
No, I don't okay. think so. Oh, you, you're right. The, the super famous one that um, yeah. where they're like living in somebody's house or whatever. Um, no, not related to Parasite the movie. In fact, it's P A R A S Y T E. Oh, the Ooh. gray uh, parasite colon the gray and um, colon this is, parasite. <laughs> that sounds yeah. real bad. This is I believe out of South Korea. I had no idea what was going on. And we popped this on because it looked like it was starting to trend on on Netflix and get some attention. And the basic premise is people are chilling on Earth, right? Everybody's hanging out, enjoying life on Earth. And randomly, all across the planet, these weird, like, parasite things, bloop, these little blobs, they, they drop out of the sky. And then these little, like, you know, these little buggy-type things come out of them, and they try to root themselves inside people. And... It happens all over the country. There's only so many all over the world. There's only so many of them, right? There's like a limited amount that dropped and then infected these humans. And the humans figure out what's going on, and they start fighting back against these these parasites that are invading. And when you get, um, you know, when the parasite gets you, your face goes all like wacky. Like your face can be normal like, but then your face can look like uh the Demogorgon in Stranger Things. Oh. Literally, like the Demogorgon in Stranger Things. Like, you know, crazy thing. Terrifying. And really, uh, kind of a little bit, but also just exciting to keep watching. You're like, always thinking what's going to happen next. And I think that'll get some people out there to tune in because... Is it animated? No, it's it's an actual film. It's from an anime, I guess. Yeah, it's not I think the, it's Parasite only anime the Maxim. I watch. Yeah, yeah, that's they did like a spinoff of that anime, essentially, Parasite the Grey. And the Grey is the, the team of people who are fighting off these things. I thought it was good. If you watch that as well, do let us know. Go over to the newsjunkie.com and uh, hit record on your first dispatch right now. We started Sugar last night. Sugar. And yeah. um, that one started... In black and white, and then I was—I remember we were talking about Ripley yesterday. Mm-hmm. But for a second, I was like, "Oh, is this the black and white one? Are we starting the black and white show?" And then all of a sudden, like the scene changed and it colorized, and I, thank God, <laughs> uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Could you imagine how mind blowing it would have been back in the day when the first like Technicolor broadcast rocked your world? And to think those wow. just like what three colors, four. It wasn't Very a off. lot. I, like, whatever it was, you went from black and white, and they go, during this telecast, we're going to switch to Technicolor. And you go, oh, my God. It would be, re- be really awesome if you just never told the people. And then <laughs> and then all of a sudden Schindler's List comes out, <laughs> and they're like, it's all black and white until the end, and there's just like a little bit of red, and you're like, Spoiler alert. what the hell? It would mind F you. I guarantee you. Crazy Nazi magic. I remember the mind F I got when I saw like 1080p for the first time or HGTV. It was my friend Alyssa's house. And I was like, why does it feel like I'm in the movie right now? I don't care for this whatsoever. Yes. And you know what kind of sucks? I don't think we're ever going to get that again. Um, Maybe like virtual. We're, or a, uh, what but is it? You know, I know exactly what you're talking about. When you first set eyes on like a full 1080p broadcast like ESPN or something and you go, I'm almost uncomfortable at how clear this is right now. Well, I'll, this is unbelievable. And I don't know that we'll ever get that shocker again. Also, for most of us, the first time we set eyes on a 1080p or a 4K uh, picture was at the store where the TVs are sold, where they're showing you the best possible, highest quality, like zoomed in Discovery Channel type content, mm-hmm. like that's where that's where all the stuff was for a while. And yeah, you had people watching Planet Earth that didn't even care about animals. You would, yeah. I, I watched the <laughs> opera on HD Net one time just because there was only two <laughs> HD channels, and like I wanted to see my friend's TV do its job. You know, yeah. and, and now, you know, now, now you got plenty of content. Now I, it's all. I think the thing that will be blown away by will be if they perfect a good enough, like, 3D, like, hologram, but it doesn't look like a hologram. I'm not talking like mm. like uh, 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 Princess Leia, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi type hologram. I'm talking about, like, something projects into your room a scene of looks like tangible things that aren't right. actually there. Augmented and not, not, the, not the Apple Vision Pro. And I've heard great things about what the Apple Vision Pro can do, but I mean, and, and and I might be blown away if I put one on and saw them, 
but it would be cool if it didn't have to be on a on a headset. Right. Rachel on YouTube says, I've never gotten a shocker. Uh, yeah, the, a, yeah, the live. Di- different thing. Different. Uh, uh, over to this man who made a very, very who bad decision. The shocker, uh, the shocker that you yeah. get when you see HD you for the, the first time. Signal. Oh. No, I didn't. Did you I, just I went even, like that. Yeah. I'm not even sure how it goes. The, the hand yes, signal. Yes, you are. Uh, it, Sean, I, come on. Is it like this? Yeah. Is that it? Okay, first of all, yeah, close probably, those fingers, yeah, please. Yeah, put the oh. fingers together. There it's you go. like that? Yeah. And you know the phrase, right? You can't say it right now. Oh, wait. If that Okay, I do know the phrase, but if that's right, then I'm doing it wrong, aren't I? Nope. Because no. wouldn't, wouldn't that be this be t- two in the... Uh, okay. <laughs> is she upside you, down? Poor Courtney. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, come on. If I'm doing it like this and the person's in, in front of me... Oh, you know, and I'm then you're like doing it the that, right way. It seems like two is going to the right. Forget it. Let's go over to this guy <laughs> who made a very, very bad decision. OK, this gentleman made a bad decision. What happened? Well, there was one of these and you guys know what I'm talking about here. These private Facebook groups where women will talk about the same guy that they've dated oh, yeah. and like call out dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we like are we dating the same guy? And I think they have them for different cities and mm-hmm. you know different areas and stuff. And some of them, uh, they're, they're harder to get access to. Like maybe they'll only let women in, or they'll be very careful about new users that they let into the Facebook group. From what I understand, there is an application process. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Because they want to keep people out who don't get what's going on. Because the idea here is these are genuine people who are searching for a partner, and they want to cut through all the riffraff. I saw somebody post on my Facebook feed um, in the last couple of days. And you know what they said? And I thought about it quite a bit afterwards. I was like, man, that's tough. They said that they um, they were going through a divorce. And they said they'd been married for 20 years. And they got married when they were 19 years old, I think. Right? And so their entire life has been with this person. And most of their entire dating life has been with this person. They didn't get onto websites and date. They didn't get onto the apps and start dating. And then now you're single. After 20 years, lot, you're man. almost 40, and you got to navigate the waters of finding somebody. And so sometimes when it's women, in this case, it's it's women, who tend to gather, and they go, if I'm doing that, I want to cut through all the nonsense. Tell me who the bad guys are, and let me get that out of the way. And that happened to Stuart Lucas Murray. And all these women were like, yeah, I know that dude. Yeah, that dude sucks. Yeah, I know Ah. that dude. That dude sucks. And he said, I'm going to sue you. And let's see how it went for him. Um, You know, spoiler alert, not great. Tonight, dozens of women called him a bad date and talked about it online. Now, the first of numerous lawsuits filed by Stuart Lucas against Stuart Lucas Murray against more than 50 women have been dismissed by a judge in downtown L.A. It's an update to a story we first brought you last month. Today, the judge has ruled in favor of the defendant, Vanessa Valdez. All right, so she wins, the defendant in this case, and he loses. And it was, are we dating the same guy? Los Angeles was the group. Murray's lawsuit was seeking over $2 million in damages. Plaintiffs argued that they did nothing wrong by posting their opinions in a private online group called, are we dating the same guy? The judge found no evidence of conspiracy and granted an anti-slap motion that prevents the abuse of the legal system. That's good, actually, for the women. Speak out. Yeah, an anti-slap is really good. If somebody's suing you, an anti-slap is not just you being victorious over them in the lawsuit. It's the person being chastised for abusing the legal system, meaning they're saying there is no merit whatsoever to this guy's case against some, like, 50 different women. He said they're, they're liars. They're making all this stuff up. And if this guy would have been victorious, it probably would have done a number on these kind of groups and would have stopped women from sharing this information with one another. That would have been just a clear outcome, I think. Let's see what else they said. Just feel really good to be dismissed from from all counts. It wasn't just the two counts of defamation, but all 11 counts that he filed against me, the judge ruled against. We have various Some of the women anti-slap here. hearings in the, in the weeks to come. And obviously we hope that uh, with Vanessa's ruling that kind of sets the precedent for the following hearings. You know what? This is one of those great examples that you get served up in life every once in a while. 
They call it the Streisand effect, friends, and many of you already know what this is. But Barbara Streisand didn't want a photo of her cliffside mansion in California on the Internet. So when people started to post it, Barbara Streisand kept trying to sue to get it removed over and over and over and over. She didn't want her photo of her house to exist online. But then it was everywhere. And now if you Google Barbara Streisand house, you can very easily find exactly where it is and where she lives. She made the problem worse by drawing attention to it. So now this man who was upset at a handful of women on some Facebook page that was private anyway, and what they were saying about him, his name, Stuart Lucas Murray, is all over the news locally and nationally and internationally attached to the phrase being a bad date. Do you think right. that there's uh, still a woman who will go out with him now? Uh, you can always find somebody. They don't there's a, anything. <laughs> yeah, you got to stay off the internet. You got to find like some some person who is like completely detached from the online. Or maybe world. maybe like maybe it's curiosity. Maybe they're just like, okay, how bad can it be? Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Let's see if these ladies were right. Well, 50 is a lot of people to agree on something. Melissa on YouTube says, I've been single for six years. The dating world is terrible. Kristen says, that's me. I'm 46 and freshly divorced after nearly 30 years together. That is tough since being a teenager together. Yeah, and, I mean, it's tough. Oh. Like, or maybe just intimidating to try yeah. to get out there again. But after that long, I'm sure there's a big relief as well yes you get to I, enjoy for the first time in 20 years just dealing and being with yourself yeah but how is how is your skill set when it comes to being with anybody other than the person you were with for all those years i mean as far as like talking to other people it might not be that big of an adjustment i think the biggest skill set the biggest adjustment is like making sure that you're keeping yourself safe both like mm -hmm. With anyone who's catfishing you, who's someone who has bad intentions, um, you know, as far as like the dating apps go, like the one time that we actually or that we the one time I actually did it, mm -hmm. I had to delete all of it because I'm like, what do you mean a paywall? And what do you mean I have to answer and post a video? And I'm like, I right. don't want anything to do with this. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot for anybody who's been out of this that long. Let us know if that's your situation. Give us your story. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch right now. Quick break. When we come back, we'll get into something very disturbing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happening potentially at your bank. It's a very big bank that's doing this. And I think it's insane that it's happening. What is it? It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and I've got your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. The day after the eclipse, we've got a beautiful one. The high temperature today, 84 degrees. Tomorrow and Thursday, we'll see highs near 90. But Thursday, there will be a cold front arriving in the afternoon and evening, prompting a couple of thunderstorms to develop, probably after dark for Orlando. But a couple of them during the afternoon in Ocala and Gainesville on Thursday could be on the strong to severe side. It'll be followed by beautiful weather for the weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is Sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoke irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Folks, what you like is when you cruise back home, open that front door after a long day's work, and you feel the cool air hit you, and they're going to be nice and comfortable in your house, even when it's melting hot outside. And you can stay in that zone of comfort with Mills Air. Leon Mills started a company that is, unfortunately, very different from many others out there. It's one of the few that strives for honesty and fairness and not just having a customer they can take advantage of once. They want to make sure you're a client for life and that they treat you right. You're never taken advantage of with a Mills Air tech. They say things to you in a way that makes sense. They explain it all. And in fact, in a lot of cases, they can get your AC fixed and maybe even save you money on your power bill. Preventative maintenance can give you the peace of mind that you deserve to detect an upcoming breakdown before it actually happens. That's why this is such a great company. 
and they're locally owned and operated and family owned and operated. And if you like to support businesses like that and you have a problem with your AC, pick up the phone right now. 407-277-1159 or just remember this. Find them online at millsair.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I feel occasional burning and stabbing in my hands as I age. I sometimes feel numbness and tingling in my feet as I get older. It's starting to get in the way of doing what I love. At Nervive, we hear you and we can help. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Now that I know, I'm taking control. Try Nervive Nerve Relief and say yes to healthy nerves. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's ALSCO.com. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood, as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700-plus locations today. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. The moment plus a major bank is doing something that really just blows my mind is a bad idea is what it is uh i'm dying here during the break i keep running into this woman on social media Facebook, and, instagram twitter y'all see this? Know, have you guys seen the, the lady who makes videos of her dropping really inappropriate like pickup lines on her husband and filming him uh, no yeah i can't say that's popped up <laughs> in the algorithm everyone every time she does it's something i've never heard before and it's good like the one that i just heard her do i, I was flipping through something and she goes honey can you turn on the seat warmers and the guy's like yeah yeah and she goes i just want to warm up your dinner real quick <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah i was like all hell of them yeah. are like that like you you've not heard them a million times yeah. and <laughs> i've never and, heard that one 
I never have either. Like, all of them are like that. I've never heard that before. And then when she says it, the guy just like melts in the <laughs> passenger seat of the car. And I go, oh, God. I don't know what her name is or anything, but uh, she is something if you see her out there. It's her and her, her husband's like, or boyfriend or whatever. I think it's her husband. It's a real big guy. And he's in the passenger seat of the car. And she keeps dropping those lines on him. Uh, okay. This is a bad idea. Just flat out bad idea. Bad idea. Uh, true. Got that somewhere, right? Um, we don't even have to argue whether it's a good idea. This is J.P. Morgan Chase, and oh, great. they're awesome. Oh, they're I knew you were going to say a bank that I have. Oh, have you seen this story? Because no. I, I don't know if other banks are doing this. There's very, very much a chance that every bank does this, and they're all just terrible to us. But it says J.P. Morgan Chase is allowing advertisers to target its 80 million customers based on their recent purchase history. Which is such baloney in the way that they put it. It's like, how stupid do you mm-hmm. think we are? It's like, well, it's just to enhance your experience. Yeah. And, they, and I'm like, you're selling our data, and we're not even getting any sort of compensation for it. Yeah, they always give you that line. Like, we are trying to improve your uh, browsing experience by serving you better ads. And you go... You're selling my info, and you're I mean, selling they are my better purchase ads, info. They are, yeah, but but come on. They're acting like they're doing you a big, fat favor. They're making money, a lot of it, in fact. It says it means Chase customers could soon find themselves bombarded with advertisements for products similar to those they've recently bought. Yeah, but where's the advertisement going to be? Like, on the Chase app? Um, yeah. It says, excuse me, I was clearing my throat because my allergies are... God awful right oh, now. Insane. Uh, it says, uh, for example, the bank may identify if somebody is a pet owner by whether they have bought pet food recently and then advertise similar products to them. Does and, the, wait, wait. Does the bank know that you've bought pet food or does the bank know that you have shopped at, you know, Pet World? The bank knows that you've shopped at the place, I think. I don't think they would know. If you're buying online, if they I, could probably get that information. Yeah, like, but if you bought it at Chewy, you know, they would know. They would go, okay, this person probably has a pet because they well, shop at on, Chewy. Hang on. Let's say Sabrina right now goes on Amazon and purchases something. Does the bank only know Amazon or does the bank know Amazon? And then, oh, yeah, by the way, here's some other info. Here's what the purchase the, the, was. The Depends bank? on the deal with Amazon, though. They could very well be working with these advertisers or these other companies that want to uh, send out targeted ads, and they'll send you all the details of your but, recent purchases. But as far as your bank goes, I think your bank would only know what's on the the, the line. Am- wait, 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 Amazon wait, wait, wait. And, a, and, a, and, a, and an amount. We need some banker people. Banker people, send us a dispatch or an email yeah, to tips right. at thenewsjunkie.com. I need to know this info. Here's what I need to know. When I go onto my bank website, I can see who has charged the last handful of purchases or whatever, whatever purchase I want to look at, right? And so let's say I go to C Lane's Candy Factory, and I can Hi, see. Hi, welcome to my candy factory. Is that licorice? <laughs> it's a regular Willy Wonka over here. And I go in, and I purchase... 17 lollipops from Sea Lane's Candy Factory. From a van. Now, as best I know, I would look and I would see purchase Sea Lane's Candy Factory, and then I would see the total price that was charged to my card. But I like I can't see any more granular than that. If you're at the bank, can you see Sean went to Sea Lane's Candy Factory, he purchased a hell of a lot of lollipops. And here's how much the total no. was. Okay. Could you imagine you, if our can't. bank? Well, who's to say no, that no. they're not C line? That could I totally know, be I, in the terms and conditions. I know that we can't. I know that we can't see with that granularity. But can they? Is what I'm asking. No. Like, uh, somebody on a computer on their side, you know, typing it up, and they go, "All right, let's look at the purchase." Not only did Sabrina make a purchase for forty nine ninety five on Amazon, but it was for this. You know, like it was a, you know, a month's supply of bagel bites or whatever it, the, the thing was How dare you. that you're buying. You can I see. Go I don't six know. Months at a time. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure, but they're delicious. So, subscribe and save. Really good. Amazon will try to get you subscribing to everything these days, man. I, I'll put I something in you. there. I'll be like, I don't want to subscribe to that. What the hell are you talking about? By no means, but their targeted ads are the ones that I respond to the most. Mm-hmm. I mean, there See, is better like, experience, of and course. they're making more money. But then there's other stuff where it is extremely clear that whoever has given the permission, whether it be Apple or Instagram, where I'm like, mm-hmm. I just talked about this. Or yeah. I just like Googled it for something else. I'm not interested in, in buying that. And now it's all the, here's one. 
My um, uh, I sent and got like as a goof, uh, one of those like portable toilets, and uh-huh. I sent it to a friend as a joke. Guess what notifications I've been getting? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to see more okay. options for portable toilets? All right. Enough? So we need a feature then. Well, I don't get why they do that when you've already bought one. We, but we need a feature. We need a feature that says like gag gift or something, so they know like, hey. I don't actually like this, and I don't need a boatload more advertising for this kind of thing. But I one would it. assume that if you have bought, if you've purchased the portable toilet, that at least for a while, you don't need another portable toilet. Right. Like, just to see, like they should be advertising for accessories, you know, other things mm. like maybe a lantern for camping or something. Portable so, toilet cases. Uh, right. Portable toilet paper. All of the things that would go along Which with. should be all toilet paper. Celan, you asked, where are these ads going to be? Well, that is even worse. They said the ads, when the targeting of the the, uh, customers will happen with offers inside J.P. Morgan's app or on their website. Awesome. So your banking website will have the ads. That's fine. Have at it. I hardly go to my banking website. Okay, but a lot of people... Do and how much on time do you spend it, on your banking website? Uh, I mean, I can. I don't know. Am I giving too much information? No, on what I use I, I, for I'm like totally normal to go a couple of times a week and look at your bank account. And there's I, stuff to manage. And there's uh, if I'm using it, especially certain Chase cards, whether it be credit card or like a business account, mm-hmm. like you're paying them for a service. They're yeah. charging you a monthly fee, and on top of it, they're going to give you ads. That's not what I'm yep. paying for here. Yeah, it's they're blowing. making even more money off of you which just feels kind of wrong it just it doesn't feel it doesn't sit well with me what do you think are you okay with your bank doing that let us know all right go over to the newsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now as We'd far as to hear from you as far as them knowing what you um what you spend like i you know i i had a issue where I got a bunch of overdraft fees one time because their my bank system was down, so I couldn't move the money. Like I had the money, yeah, but I couldn't move yeah, it because okay. the ATM <laughs> system was down. I've said that too, you know. Oh, I got so much money in there. I don't know why it's not working right now. So I went in there and I talked to the guy, and then I you know, I could tell he's like looking at all my transactions, and it's like that's none of your bees. Bar, bar, yeah. bar. I mean, he could see that they're at bars, and so I I I, I could feel the judgment coming from that. But he can't, like, click into it and be like, oh, it seems you like vodka a lot, sir. <laughs> Thank God. Maybe if, because... you'd, maybe if you'd buy less Red Bulls, you know, you'd be able to cover these. <laughs> True. Uh, when we come back, we've got more from you. Maybe a banker is even emailing right now to tips at the news or sending a dispatch. One can only find out if they hang tight. Plus, we've got Apple River stabbing trial updates on the way. There was some crazy stuff going down on the stand in the last 48 hours and uh, something that happened on TV that had a whole lot of people watching. What was it? It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Authorities are still working on that accident on International Speedway between Jacobs Road and Kepler Road. There's a bit of delays due to an accident on John Young Parkway near Princeton Street. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Traffic is up to speed on State Road 429. No major problems on the Greenway. A bit of congestion on I-4 between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James. Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Power on this spring and summer with Batteries Plus. In stores and online too, you'll find batteries for your car, RV, boat, motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, and more. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even. For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. 
FrankGayServices.com. This Saturday at Elixir, it's MMA Fight Time with Pereira vs. Hill. You can watch it at Elixir Bar, downtown Orlando. No cover, drink specials, and great food. Join Jack Bradshaw from the Jim Colbert Show and Angel Rivera from the Monsters at Elixir at 9 p.m. Also at Elixir, you can buy your Earth Day birthday general admission tickets during regular business hours, cash only, and skip those Ticketmaster service charges. Earth Day birthday is April 20th at Central Florida Fairgrounds. And this year, the Angel of Boom will be hosting the Real Radio Monsters Chill Zone, where we also have the acoustic stage. Elixir Kitchen and Bar, downtown Orlando, 9 West Washington Street, near Orange Avenue. Find them at ElixirOrlando.com. The best way to fight inflation is to grow your money more quickly. That's why I want to tell you about my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union, where you can earn 5% annual percentage yield on a regular 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate. With three Central Florida locations, Suncoast is your local and loyal credit union. It makes it simple to get a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to Suncoast Credit Union dot com to learn more and remember with suncoast you always get more love and less fees tommy Mello here owner of a1 garage door service springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home it's more than just a fence it protects your future gardener mom look at my tomato wow your future olympian and your future best in show. Get your free quote today for all the future brings at fenceoutlet.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Nowadays, it seems like wherever I go, there's a vacuum emptying out my purse. I go to get gas. I go to buy groceries. I go to the coffee shop. But then the strangest thing happened. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, and all I heard was... You see, McDonald's has a deal where I can choose any two for just two seventy nine. dollars I can choose from a sausage McMuffin, a sausage biscuit, a sausage burrito, hash browns, or a small hot coffee. I chose a sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled egg, pork sausage, melty cheese, green chilies, and onion. And I paired it with crispy hash browns, all for just two seventy nine. dollars It's such a good deal. I'm using the money I saved to get my car clean. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Go with your gut. Your dog's immune system is based in the gut. A diet lacking in nutrients can cause itching, scratching, and a weak immune system. However, there is a solution. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. Dinovite. It took a grand total of two weeks. The dog stopped itching. The hair stopped falling out. Try Dinovite for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Learn more at Dinovite.com slash radio. Happier, healthier with every bite. Over a million pets helped with Dinovite. 
They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme, and I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. <laughs> Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total. blooper from yesterday's coverage and it's a gem a gem if you haven't heard it but i told you sabrina i said if you gotta wait a little bit and the Yo. birds will show up to your bird feeder i have never been more pleased in my mm-hmm. life i just had Oof. a uh, somebody needs to i know on that me, i'm having like a very much like <laughs> oh you're gonna be you're in your mid-30s now you're having a moment here but I had to move it yesterday, and yeah. the footage from that is also hilarious because it's uh-huh. me just like, come on, and then trying to shove it in the ground, and all the seeds fell on top of my head. <laughs> but I moved my bird feeder. Those that are not familiar, I, um, I I did a thing over the weekend, and I bought a bird feeder with a camera on it. Yeah, it's like one of those newfangled cool ones yeah. where they use technology to kind of— That's nice of you to say to her. Show you the what? birds, uh, and they can even. I, I, she, Sabrina said you got to pay more for this, which is crazy to me. But they can even make it so they'll oh, now tell I'm you what. Pay for it for sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, hook, hook line and sinker. Well, I will tell you uh, the ones that I can see right now. That's uh, the female cardinal, and then I, I forget mm-hmm. the other one. But that the second bird that is kind of plain looking. That's the one yeah. that has the nest in the bush. But right. I mean, uh, now if I if I were to pay for it, I can get longer. You know cloud uh you know videos and they stay right. in storage but i after moving it and i keep getting notifications but it's like cars driving by and then i go and i look just now and i got action baby real and birds how, real and and the video is really cool you can mm-hmm. see all of them kind of just like trying to figure out what that camera is let me tell you something it. it's pretty There's- clear there's this uh, effort uh, underway by a lot of fun suckers out there to tell you when you do things like this, like get a bird feeder with a video camera in it, like you're being old fuddy duddy and uh, what a what a nerd. No way, man. Embrace it and have fun. There's a really really loud blower outside of uh, my That's place why right birds now. Don't go to your and house, there's somebody man. landscaping. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Will you show uh, the people the video, please? I'm going to post yeah. it on my Instagram when I get Hang a on. second here uh, at Sabrina Ambra. But for now, I mean, hey, this I is gotta how say, exciting this is. It's pretty good quality oh, video, yeah. all things considered. Here it is, C Lane. This is a uh, Sabrina waited it's long enough. Female cardinal. Moved it a little bit. Is there any audio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the bird's just like, what the hell is this camera? And they're straight up, like, in the camera, too, which is cool. Uh, Look at that. That's cool. Like, this bird is, like, up in your world, man. I love it. It's so awesome. And you get to experience the world. This is good, man. When you are when you uh, embrace the things that people will make fun of, you should say, do I get enjoyment out of this? Yes, I want to get one of these now. I want one of these bird feeder uh, things. You guys know when you really, you really pass the point of no return is when you start naming the animals that uh, feed there. Oh, what yeah. That's like, what my old roommates do with their, their squirrel feeder. Oh, they, oh, they, they got, know the squirrels? Oh, yeah. There was uh, like a group of like, oh, there's dogs. Reggie again yep. doing his Reggie thing. Well, you know, I thought you didn't want squirrels, right? No, they have a squirrel feeder. 
Oh, it's particularly meant yeah. for the squirrels. I see what you're saying. Okay. I'm good with whatever. The only thing is my neighbor told me yesterday that snakes will eat bird seed, and that's what I like. don't want to see in the camera. I think that, that would look gonna... awesome on that I camera. It would shake no, me no. a little bit. Snake... You're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, Sabrina. It's like the time where people got upset and they started to threaten to, to protest because the eagle camera that this one place had, like a national park had an eagle camera, and the mama eagle started just eating the babies live. <laughs> oh, just, God. <laughs> Savage. And like, of, oh! <laughs> uh, the one that has been uh, like a very popular eagle live stream, I mm-hmm. think they've been, uh, most people have been waiting for like three weeks and watching mom and dad just come back and sit on these giant eggs. They were just born. Oh, were they really? Yeah, people eaglets. love that stuff. And look at that. They were just eating. Oh, <laughs> it happened just that quickly. All right, here it is. Here's the best blooper. Of all of the eclipse coverage the that went guy? down yesterday, this is a, a lady. Oh. All right. I got a second place for you after that. Her name is Stephanie. Uh, let me get the name right. She deserves all the credit in the world. Stephanie Abrams. Stephanie Abrams understood the assignment. She knew you got to be hype. You got to get people even more hype than you are about the eclipse. She leaned into it. You know, she got excited, I would say. And here she is on the Weather Channel as in Careville, Texas, they hit the full eclipse, all the totality. It just got really dark. We are close. Really dark. How amazing is that? The darkness. Nine, eight, seven. It's kind of a weird thing to count down to. Did she say Happy New Year at the end? Then what? <laughs> Yay! I mean, you're excited about it, but, like, nothing really happened, but she gets more into it. Totality, we're in it, and we're behind the cloud. But I still want you to appreciate the darkness that we are experiencing. Make the most of it. by the way, our temperature has dropped. We're down to 72 degrees. I can even see a blue spot. <laughs> She's full on screaming right there. The That's how it was when I saw the birds. It's like she's she's having um well I don't know it, it, she's having a, a great time I guess or a terrible time I don't she really put it all out there for everybody so I mean she goes. It, it does suck that for some of the people that may have traveled there uh, that there was like too much cloud cover to actually see the sun and like uh-huh. see the eclipse so all they all all they did was just wait outside for it to get dark and then get light again. Yeah, it's not quite as exciting, I guess, when you don't have the perfect weather. But she was, she had fun regardless, yeah. all right? Yeah, she didn't need a whole lot more help than that. I, I got this other one that you were that you sent over. This NBC oh, yeah. Five meteorologist. Full okay? tears, guys. Full this tears. This guy, he's this is his like Super Bowl. You know, he's the meteorologist guy, and here he goes. Pete's oh my gosh, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's totality. This is just amazing. I, I I can't believe I'm able to bring this to you. I'm taking my glasses off for a moment because you can actually look up and see. We're seeing kind of a diamond effect, but we can see the halo. We can see the corona around the sun. The stars are starting to come out. This is just an amazing sight. I just watch for a moment while I gather myself because I'm just in awe of the, the sight that I'm seeing right now. <laughs> you know what would be great? Is if this guy, when his kids were born, was stone cold, and his wife, <laughs> he comes home to his wife. His wife's like, "Are you kidding me? Yeah, you, you, you cried on the air, man. You're full in tears when you're watching a total solar eclipse. You get this guy is like really, really affected by this. But there, I kind of like it, you know. There was a CNN correspondent oh. that uh, was on towards the end of the coverage that I think was like. Her mom was there with her and, mm-hmm. her, and it brought her mom to tears. And then it turns out her mom was an astronaut. And I oh, was like, really? 
I was like, wait a second. You've been to space and this brought you to tears? I feel like this would be boring if you went to space. Absolutely. Oh, how cool. How awesome is that? But it was a fun day. And everybody leaning into it, having fun. We need this kind of stuff, everybody. It's the bird feeder. You know, we need to have things that we enjoy. We're supposed to have fun in our lives, for God's sake. Uh, meanwhile, there was a lot of people having fun watching the big NCAA title game where Caitlin Clark and Iowa lost, as we said yesterday, to South Carolina. How many people were tuned in? Well, look at the graph on this is doo -doo 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 -doo. boom. 18.7 million people Damn. watched the South Carolina, Iowa women's NCAA <laughs> title game. Am I reading this right? That's between 95 and 2024. This is between 1995 and oh, 2024. Wow. And it's not even close. Not even close. 18.7 million people Man, those, watched that. Chicks really got screwed in 2020. Nobody watched. Yeah, it's just flat there. A new record for women's college games and a five-year high for any basketball broadcast, according to ESPN. Both men five-year high. Men and women. Wow. Any basketball broadcast, according to ESPN. Keep in mind... The, one of the key people who drove all of this, South Carolina is very popular in their own right, but Iowa and Caitlin Clark, she's headed to make like $74,000 in the WNBA <laughs> next year. And it's like, can we do better? Can 18.7 million people start tuning into those games? Because if they do, think if everyone game gave, changer. Every person who viewed it just gave her a dollar. She'd make more than she would make in the WNBA. She would make more than she's going to make in the first four. Well, she make way more, eighteen point seven million dollars. But she was, she's making. I think they said seven hundred. Oh no, 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 two hundred thousand dollars, two hundred something thousand dollars for the first three or four years. Come on, <laughs> you would this think a, after all of this that they would go back to the table and reassess. This I might be the don't. opportunity to get more people to watch the WNBA where it's like, all right, we've changed things up and we're going to mm -hmm. pay Caitlin and all the other uh, stars a lot more and we're going to bring more to the table. for well, All they need is for the people who the way watch I just that, pitch that. I can understand why no one watches it. Well, look, if the people who watch that go over and watch the next part of it. You got a home run on your hands, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. What do you think? Go to the news junkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. Uh, Patrick, a.k.a. Frankenboner, emails tips at the news junkie.com. All right. Hi, Mr. Hey, Boner. Sean. Mr. Boner says, hey, Sean, I'm a couple of days behind on the podcast. I know you said since you quit smoking, you're eating too much crap and you're gaining weight back. But I heard you also say that you've been working with the weights more. Muscle weighs more than fat. I've been trying to say that to myself as much as possible. I wouldn't worry so much unless you just want to be skinny, which cardio is the only healthy way to do that. Or just take Ozempic. What do I know? Bye, says Frankenboner. Uh, or Ozempic, the uh, oat version that Sealand <laughs> was talking about. All those uh, worthwhile. I don't think it's that. I think it's just simply that I, uh, for a while, my feet were all sideways and screwed up. Now I'm good to go. Now I'm like a, a healthy individual again. I can walk and, and do all the things. And it that coincided with stopping smoking and cutting down, drinking a lot. And you got to do something with your time. You move to other vices and you just hope the other vice is not as bad. Because the fact is, is, as human beings, we want something and you know, we got to have something. And he's like, something will fill the void. You just got to try to make sure it's something that's not quite as bad as the other stuff. So one day at a time, I guess. And then I'll, I'll work that weight back down and get... I was at 189, and and I was feeling better, man. I was feeling good about things, and now I, I, I lost so, a lot of that progress. Uh, like two, Are you happy? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not that That's I'm not happy. I I got to get to the the 189 marker again. I'm 10 pounds away. I'll get there. I'll get back there, and then I'll have to have the cigarette smoking gone. The drinking down significantly. I thought, Boom. <laughs> I thought you were about to say I'm you'll get back smoke. down there yeah. and then I'll get back to those cigarettes. Let's go back. <laughs> I've done it before. I could do it again. It's just probably a terrible idea. No, definitely a terrible idea. We want to hear from you and your dispatches. Those are on the way in a bit on the show, probably within the next hour or so. We'll get into the Apple River stabbing story and the big updates on that. Uh, and... There is an update on that aquarium where they had the stingray that even though the stingray was oh, a female, shark ray. 
No males were in the aquarium at all with this female. The, the virgin stingray was pregnant somehow. But there's been a lot of silence, and people are starting to wonder, did something happen here? We crack through that, and we answer the mystery when we come back. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. You text us at 77031, and we say it on the air. Sometimes. We might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. There's a couple of accidents to watch out for this afternoon. John Young Parkway at Princeton Street, Clarkona, Coey Road at Lake Sparling Road, and authorities are working on an accident on Alafaya Trail at Stony Brook Boulevard. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Traffic is up to speed on Florida's Turnpike, and there's no major problems on I-4. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. If you're ready for a new job, let Express Employment Professionals help you. Express is already hiring for summer jobs in a variety of industries. Job seekers never pay a fee at Express. Go to ExpressPros.com to find your location. That's ExpressPros.com. Listen up, my friends. It is so easy to apply for a refinance or perhaps to buy your first dream home by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. He's an expert. He's your friend. He's part of the Real Radio family, and most importantly, he has your best interest in mind. If you already have a great deal, that mortgage guy, Don, will tell you that too or make sure that he finds you the best deal. Peace of mind right there at your fingertips. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote today by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay. FrankGayServices.com. Boss, did you know Safe Touch Security is the home of the 45 second or less guaranteed response? Of course, it's just one of the reasons why I hate Safe Touch. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select security systems. Call 888-723-8682 or go to SafeTouch.com. State license EF2001945. Hey, you don't live here. Protect your little ones and their furry best friends by securing your home with a fence from FenceOutlet.com. A great looking fence beautifies your home and keeps it safe. Get your free quote today at FenceOutlet.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post-haste. 
Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 159 the popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Delan and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. New South Window Solutions. Made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Radio. Radio. Forever hovering over life's great dump button. You're listening to the new... friends with three little baby armadillos and oh, i feel like this is not dude, good i support it i feel like they're aren't they bad like you should stay away from these little guys know. they're um they get a bad rap because yeah. of how terrifying they could look well but for the she most said, part they're supposed to be very friendly um also uh quite filled with disease yeah so. leprosy right yeah but you only get that from eating them i think I might be wrong with that. No, remember it was a rave and they all passed it around or something. Oh, uh, look at that. A rave where they passed around yeah, an armadillo? Yeah, we talked, Ceiling, we talked about this. So I'm not crazy. It was some sort of you. event overseas where everyone got leprosy because they were handing around a, a armadillo. I thought that that was, that like, touching an armadillo gave you leprosy. I thought that was, like, an old wives' tale, and you had to eat them, so it was actually hard to get them. But that, that might be wrong. I don't know a lot about armadillos. I can't give her great advice here, but I, it seems weird to me. She said every day when she runs by these three baby armadillos, there's no mama armadillo what? in sight. And oh, she's doing together. this in person? Yeah, look at the photo. Look, this is the... They went, when she runs by, they run over to her. Aww. Like they go popping out of the grass and they like they You're they the like kangaroo mama. over to her and they're like, hey, let's hang out. And I was like, get away from those things. I don't know what they're going to do. They seem sweet, but you get close enough and you get some real problems going you on. You get an uh, armadillo feeder with a camera on it. Oh my God, I'd watch that. I'd tune into that. But I'm worried about that because what do we get with this? Is, is there really a danger here? The step of fee says there have also been reports of people getting leprosy after coming in direct contact with nine banded armadillos, which can carry the bacteria that causes leprosy. So she's talking about without eating it. Ashley on YouTube says Courtney just needs to make sure she washes her hands after touching the armadillo. She hasn't touched it yet. She hasn't touched it uh, at least thus far, but she wanted to touch the little guys because the three armadillos come bopping over to her. 
Biha says they thought it couldn't be transferred to humans, but leprosy is on the rise. I have heard of some cases of this, and they're starting to look at things differently. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's conspiracy, but I have heard more cases in the news, at least. It says that you you uh, get the risk of leprosy from coming in contact with armadillos, including eating the meat. But it also, this contact sounds like it also includes just like physical touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if if it's contact just in general, that would be if you pet the damn thing. All of a sudden, you can end up getting. I something. just don't know why they would say including eating the meat. Like, if you told me that if I touch an armadillo, it's going to give me leprosy, I'm probably not going to eat it. I'm probably mm-hmm. going to go. You know, let's uh, let's let's do something else. Are let's you though? Because else. right now we know the that kingfish. No, uh, we know that Lions. eggs. Eggs have like some issues right now. We got some bird flu stuff going on. Don't care. I had runny eggs over the weekend. <laughs> See, I knew it. Try me. I knew it. You know that bird flu is a risk, and they told you not to eat runny eggs. But everybody's just going to go. You know, I'm still going to eat the Sunday side up eggs. They're going to do it the same way they always have. Because people don't actually get scared about this stuff until it happens. And they go, oh, my goodness. Can you believe that? I'm not eating eggs ever again. Right until the run-up of it. And Cordy's going to be like, ah, they were just the sweetest little armadillos. Until those three armadillos, the babies, get stuck on her face when they all jump on her and attack her at the same time. I don't know what's going to happen next. you've been watching where they jump on your face. Lots of scary ones. Yeah, lots of, like, frightening, scary movies. Is that a Um, butt boy? No, no. That's a... Side plot, maybe in Butt Boy, but uh, or part two. They should really reboot that thing. I could definitely tune in. Meanwhile, it's not the only animal to be scared of. They said it was like something out of a horror movie. A Florida woman, 75 years young, yeah. attacked by a raccoon inside her house, they said. They being local six, saying a St. Augustine woman was hospitalized overnight after a 30 pound raccoon, a big old raccoon, chased her and her pet dog into her house. 30 pound raccoon. That, that, that's, that's a big, a big boy. boy. I was more than my son. That's a big old raccoon right there at 30 pounds. Hey, I walked through the neighborhood after reading the story yesterday about how in my neighborhood they were acing all the peacocks out of here. Like mm-hmm. they were going to really reduce the numbers and kill a bunch more of the peacocks or, or relocate them. Peacocks don't give a damn. They don't care. They were doing the same stuff they always do. And there's a lady, all right? And I don't want to, I might I might not have all the details just yet on this lady. But there's a lady who's like ground zero for the peacocks. And I'm saying when you go by, she's got peacocks on the roof, peacocks in the front yard, peacocks all over the place. And when we walked yesterday through the neighborhood, she's coming, walking back from the main area where all the peacocks are. And she's got a big silver bowl in her hands. And I said, is this lady at Peacock Ground Zero feeding the peacocks? And then I said, maybe she's like feeding them to try to get them away from her house. It's a wild time for wildlife friends. And it's dangerous out there. Uh, Be careful. 75-year-old woman and the dog, a dog was also involved, were trapped for an hour and a half, were bitten several times, according to the woman's friend. They ended up fighting off the raccoon. He was very big and powerful. It was definitely something I've never seen before, said the neighbor. He said he's a little okay, but shake it up. To Tuesday's actually his birthday, he says, and he spent the entire early morning at the hospital checking on his friend. Uh, this woman got attacked by a 30-pound raccoon, and they can be kind of badass. But when the raccoons are attacking you, again, limited animal knowledge here, I think think that can be an indicator that maybe they're not doing so well. Maybe they might have a little of the rabies or they could have another issue that they're facing. I, I've heard that before. Of course, I didn't know about the bat thing. Um, we were talking about that yesterday. We have an expert chiming in, I think. Wildlife Wrestler is bringing us up to date on our bat information. Hey, junkies. I was just uh, wanted to give you some information about the bat maternal season. Um, I do handle wildlife for a living. Um, they are protected from April 15th to August 15th. Um, C. Lane had mentioned that in his uh, This Week in Florida segment on Friday. I just wanted to give you guys some information on that if you wanted it. Um, but essentially, they are ecologically significant to us here in Florida. They do provide a good amount of uh, insect control and with all the diseases that uh, mosquitoes can transmit here, they're pretty important for That's us. That's good. Uh, the second reason is because of the way 
they reproduce, which is once a year, and they only have one to two pups at a time. Pups. So they don't reproduce in large numbers. I uh, love that the bats are called pups. The little baby baps, the bats, excuse me, not baps. pup bat. The little bats are called pups. I like that. I'm with it. And I think, Sabrina, next to your bird feeder with the camera in it, bat house oh, yeah. with the camera in it. Without a doubt. The birds don't fight the bats, do bats they? Bats are really cute. They're but adorable. You look at their face, cute little faces. Oh, hard pass, Elaine? I mean, I don't think they're adorable. I, I don't hate them. They're fine. <laughs> they're they're cute little things, and they really kill a lot of mosquitoes. It's super useful for that. I'm fine and with we'll that. Spend... Let's see, bat face. Yeah, it's good. Well, <laughs> 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 they're all right. Funny, These photos are funny. not good. Google bat face. I did, but they need a better... PR guy, because uh, the bad, bad faces represent them instead of, like, the sweet ones. There's a couple of, like, sweet bad faces, and they're buried down on the homepage on Google to make room for the evil bad faces. They need a better PR, I think, and I don't know if that's going to happen for them anytime soon. Uh, let's get in one more dispatch here. Here is Funny Name talking about uh, touching armadillos. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Hey. I swear that the news junkie, that's you guys, just did a story on the rise of leprosy cases in Florida. We did. Tied we to did, yeah. physical contact with armadillos. Yes. That or I'm having the worst case of deja vu ever. But I swear you guys just did a story about this within the last month. Uh, no, we definitely did. We talk about a lot of things, sir. It's, it's it was another thing news. that we covered in This Week in Florida. Yep. Uh, look at this week in Florida scooping up all the mentions right now. Mm-hmm. Here's Twink Lettits talking about the bird cam Sabrina just purchased. That bird cam footage looks better than most uh, security footage that we see. True. So maybe they need to just replace all the security cameras with bird cams. And then we'd get uh, good security footage. All right. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Twink Lettits out. I mean, thank the, you, friend. The picture is very clear. It's nice. Better than my ring cam, I'll tell you that much. It looks good. It's like high quality. You get right up there in the bird's face. Did you guys see the the, the camera? The, the It was on the news this morning, Sabrina, the, of the porch pirate who dressed in a giant garbage <laughs> yeah. bag. Yes. No. Did and they like, really? Oh, and Sean, like, it is so stupid. Waddled up the, up the, up the sidewalk uh, inside the garbage bag, and then, like, you see the little hand reach out, grab the package, waddle back, 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 back. <laughs> So stupid. I mean, the thing about the, the the doorbell cameras, a lot of them, especially if you don't spend a, a decent amount on them, and mm-hmm. even if you do, say you do spend a decent amount on them, not they're not getting your packages back. No, I, I don't think the Porsche pirates are that afraid of them anymore. If anything, you spend a good amount of money on a doorbell camera so that you can have a nice, high quality picture of your crap getting stolen. True. Yeah. When we come back, we'll get to the update. Uh, well, after we do the next episode. We'll eventually get to the update about that mysterious virgin stingray pregnancy. And lots of questions floating around. People are upset. They want answers. We'll get the answers on this. But when we return first, we're going to do the next episode with Sabrina. What's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Aaron's party continues from the grave. Come get it. Actor mm. Billy D. Williams got high with Bill Maher, and their stoner talk was interesting. Plus, Ricky Martin was living La Vida Boner over the weekend. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Central Florida forecast. And for today, we're expecting lots of sunshine and warm temperatures. Plan for highs to climb well into the mid-80s for this afternoon. Even warmer temperatures arrive for your Wednesday with highs in the upper 80s. Good amount of sunshine still, but our next weather maker arrives on Thursday, which is why we've declared a Fox 35 weather impact day for the potential of some showers and storms arriving late Thursday afternoon. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. 
This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S. based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters, but then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited LeafFilter.com slash beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit LeafFilter.com slash beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting. Has it burst yet? No, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone, 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? Have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! FrankGayServices.com At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now like Lost 80s. Just search
Search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. I feel occasional burning and stabbing in my hands as I age. I sometimes feel numbness and tingling in my feet as I get older. It's starting to get in the way of doing what I love. At Nervive, we hear you and we can help. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Now that I know, I'm taking control. Try Nervive Nerve Relief and say yes to healthy nerves. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Real Radio. Filling in the gaps between the New York Times and World Star. This is. Of entertainment and beyond. And just coming across a couple minutes ago, they said the parents of that uh, school shooter, Ethan Crumbly, you may remember, Jennifer and James Crumbly, they have now been sentenced to 10 to 15 years each for, they like, they helped them kind of cover it up a little bit because they helped them kind of evade arrest and stuff. And they also thought, once more, that they were not doing good enough of a job of keeping him away from the weapon that he ended up using for this. And that's not the first time it's happened. And all of a sudden, we got parents being held accountable if their kids go out and, and do something like that. You know, you want that, I think. I think yeah. it's a good thing to have. This is going to uh, change some 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 stories here. It's going to change so. some parenting, I think. I hope when the parent notices all these red flags, maybe they go, well, I too could get in trouble. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV. And you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Oh, exciting. My spaceman is here. Nothing. Weather's <laughs> nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps looking into a commercial loan, SBA, a HELOC, and so much more. You got to work with someone who has your best interest in mind, and you can see that he has your best interest in mind when you go to the website, ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. Very easy to navigate through. Chock full of information for you. A compare button to make sure that you got the best deal and any question you have, direct access to the man himself. Check it out now. That mortgage guy, Don, dot com. Don't miss the book. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don, dot com. It was a mere 12 years ago, 2012. This right here. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. Ah. Lion King. Lion King. The Lion King is right. And the Lion King passed the Phantom of the Opera as the highest grossing Broadway show of all time. Oh, I never seen that one. I would like to see it though. Yeah. It's the it's the one though that they have like the pieces on them, right? It's not people dressed up fully. Yeah. They it's have like they're hovering. They, they do all sorts of them. things to create an effect like they're animals on the stage, as far as I could tell. And it looked like a pretty cool production, honestly. Um, speaking of productions, I have the numbers here. Phantom is now at number three. The Lion King has made how much money since it opened in 1997 on Broadway? It has made $111, 111 million dollars okay no. 112 million dollars 1.7 billion dollars oh yeah. my god i'll take those points wicked has made how much since it opened in 2003 110 million dollars still gonna go with the millions here uh 800 million dollars 1.4 billion dollars and the phantom of the opera clue not in the millions has made how much since it opened in 1988 nine hundred thousand dollars okay one point nine million dollars. One point two billion dollars. Oh, I said a million. Damn it. So close. So close. 
Uh, but it's okay. You're so close with me. <laughs> Forget Broadway when we can just have fun on the internet with this guy. Yeehaw! Watch out, everybody in Nashville. Oh, Morgan Wallen? There might be a chair headed your way. Hey, did you see the video of the chair throw? I did no. not. Uh, Somebody said it was like share. two stories. Chair. It was not two stories. It I was heard? like five stories. It was like what way up. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I also, I'm, I'm not completely sure of the latest. Uh, right now, this is all about the best digs and the reactions to the Morgan Wallen chair throw. Mind you, he is up for felonies right now. And uh, now the internet is having having a grand old time making mm-hmm. fun of him while he awaits his sentence, or at least the, the trial, uh, arraignment, if I yeah. know the timeline correctly. The here only- it is right here. This is the building in Nashville. The The video is not fantastic. But see up here. Oh, that's very, that's not two stories. Yeah, that's not two stories at all. And you can see the, the chair uh, coming way off up here and being thrown down toward, I believe. You could really hurt somebody. Like, I think it went near some police officers. Perfect. I love that. And right down on the ground. Say so the only uh, celeb so far to chime in, which I highly doubt, but according to this article, was John Rich. Mm-hmm. Who said I can't help? I thought you said a celebrity chimed in. Yeah, well, uh, uh, big and rich was big at one point in time. One point. Um, I can't help but recall all the destructive, crazy things I did early on in my career. Yeehaw! The combo of intense pressure, expectations, and over-the-top success is a dangerous cocktail. He went on to say he was rooting for Morgan, but he warned him that it takes a lifetime to build what he's built and one second to destroy it. Thanks, John. Uh, it takes Morgan Wallen a couple more seconds to destroy it because I mean, yeah, he got away with uh, the flagrant N-word usage a couple years ago. I don't even know top. any of any of his like music. I haven't. It hasn't hit me. It hasn't it's like gotten this. into my world. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, right. that sounds about right. So, uh, best internet reaction so far uh, goes a little something like this. Gonna tell Morgan Wallen that what my teacher used to tell me, keep all four on the floor. Got him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Morgan Wallen was charged with three felonies, and not a single one of them was for that haircut. Uh, uh, honestly, the mugshot is like, that man don't give an F. I think that haircut is what? definitely on the way out. It's like the broccoli haircut for the younger guys. That's on yeah. the way out right no, now. Which means I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a shot to see what I can look like. If someone can Photoshop that right now. Me with a broccoli haircut like that, that would you be know, great. Thank you. The one every guy has, like with the big, the curlies on front. Sure, like, yeah, yeah. You might even have gotten a, um, oh, what are they, a perm, you know? Okay. Yeah, like, uh, that's, that's a good look. Someone posted the famous clip of Bobby Knight chucking a chair across the basketball court and says Morgan Wallen after two vodka cranberries and a white claw. <laughs> uh, similar vein, uh, the one from Mission Impossible where Tom Cruise throws a chair at an office window. The caption reads, Morgan Wallen after the apple teeny hits. Didn't and, they say uh, this was because, like, he got upset about something? Um, like, I thought he was laughing. I thought he was having a th- They said that a he... F- I, this might be total BS. He was BS. laughing as he got arrested is what I read. Oh. No, but they, this might be total BS. But what I had heard was, rumor mill stuff, was that he found out his ex-girlfriend was getting married or something. Oh, that's the reason why to throw a chair. Up and he me. like, ah, he got enraged and then he threw a chair. Uh, finally, and uh, this is a, a great burn, one of my favorites so far, is uh, Beyonce is number one on the country charts. Morgan Wallen is number 101-5626 of the Davidson County Sheriff's Department. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's his, uh, uh, yeah, criminal number. Right? Yeah, Booking that's what number. they call it. Yeah, criminal. <laughs> Whatever, C-Lane. Got that criminal Familiar number. Familiar with uh, Billy D. Williams? Yeah, Lando. I know, yeah, I know the name. Lando, I'm sorry? Lando, Calrissian. Oh. He's, the ba- he's bad, though, right? Didn't he, like, beat up his girlfriend or some nonsense? That's not him? Was that in Star Wars, Elaine? Uh, he didn't beat up his girlfriend in Star Wars. Oh. There's a dude who was in the Star Wars world who you got in trouble for beating up his girlfriend. It was on video and everything. That's not him. It. Um. This was not mentioned here. What's his he, name? Be, uh, Billy D. Williams. All right. And um, he is now smoking weed oh, with. <laughs> very different person. Okay. Very different individual. Who is the person you were talking about? A younger guy, a much younger man. Got it. Uh, Billy D. Williams, much older. And I don't even uh, think that he was in Star Wars. No, he was. You just said it. Um, The biggest point is that he's making headlines because he says 
blackface is okay to do. Okay. Yeah, I got to say, the last time we talked about... Well, if Lando says it's cool, <laughs> Bill go Maher for it, Bill was that on his podcast, Everyone Smokes Weed. Uh-huh. And uh, Steve-O was supposed to be on with him, asked that they don't smoke weed, and then uh, Bill Maher said, nope, sorry, we're we're going to continue doing it. That became a controversy. And then I got to listen to a first real clip of Bill Maher's show, and, like, could you be more stoned? When he did Othello, I fell out laughing. What? He stuck his ass out and, mm-hmm. and walked, walked around <laughs> with, with his ass. Problematic. You know, it oh, was my like, God. You know, because I mean, black- they're... So high. I understand how I fell out boy, laughing. And, I thought and it was, Bradley Cooper thinks he's got a problem <laughs> with the nose. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> and, I it, loved it. I loved it. But see, I love that kind of stuff. Yes. I the gases? Who doesn't? No, no. Nice. No, I know. Yeah. I, What's I happening? Agree. Okay. But, but here's the thing. <laughs> okay. Today, I mean, they would never let you do that. Why? Blackface? Why you, not? Because you should do it. That's maybe that's your point of view. You should, th- th- if you're th- an actor, you should do anything you want to do. There you have it. All right. So Morgan Wallen, just become an actor and you can do whatever you want to do. The yeah. guy I was talking about was, uh, sorry, sorry for interrupting, but Jonathan Majors. Just wanted to clear that yeah. up. Jonathan Majors was the Marvel star who um, got probation for uh, assaulting his ex-girlfriend. So not in Star Wars at all. Uh, he was in the Marvel world, and uh, yeah, I don't wow. think he was. Uh, in... Usually, it's Star Trek and Star Wars you mix up, but you just went Marvel to Star just, Wars. I just threw him At into least space. Both of these are Disney Plus. He was dropped by Marvel. I don't even know what character he was, but that's it. Jonathan Billy Major. D. Williams added, uh, "The point is, if you don't go through life feeling like I'm a victim, I refuse to go through life saying to the world I'm I'm pissed off. I'm not going to be pissed off for 24 hours a day. Mm-hmm. So uh, the weed was good." And yeah. uh, I would take a second before you go into blackface, despite getting the, I guess, blessing of Billy hey, D. Williams. I, how do you guys feel about the fact that uh, Steve-O wanted to go on that show, and then they were like, well, we, we smoke weed here. We're not going to change it for you. Um, I was mixed, I got to say, because I, Steve-O's been sober for, I think, 16, 17 years and, now. And good for him, by the way. Absolutely. Because, like, I thought that guy was n- never going to get sober. He was, he was out there. And the sober journey can be very difficult, and I can understand. And even decades after you become sober, that you saw the temptations and once an yeah. addict, always an addict. But I could have sworn that he's been around weed and booze. I since. get it from like all angles here because I understand why Bill Maher would go, no, that's what we do. That's our podcast. We we smoke weed here. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But then he would go, he must have actively approached Steve-O to try to do the interview with him, knowing that he... I, I could see that from all different angles there. Yeah, either way, uh, Billy was totally ready to smoke some weed with him, and there's the result. Um, nothing to do with weed, but everything to do with boners. And I guess I'll have to leave you with this. This guy right here. Ricky hey, Martin. Ricky Martin is right, and might have to put this video with the NS... FW attached to it, but oh god, he appears to have gotten a massive erection on stage at the Madonna show over the weekend. Who oh, okay. who hasn't? Um, so it was he swept up uh, during the Vogue segment during her Miami celebration tour stop over the weekend. He was featured uh, to be a guest and a judge for the dancers uh, to the main talent. And at one point during a sexy dance, he appears to have gotten aroused. And now uh, I have to read verbatim the TMZ article, which every single paragraph mentions in detail about his arousal. Oh, boy. Someone got paid for this. Um, They say, the reason we believe to be the case, Ricky stood erect while seated. Even when he stood up, the guy seemed to be saluting from the waist below. It continues. To make sense, we suppose, the dancers were uh, doing some things to Ricky at the time. Oh, my God. (laughs) Fully aroused? Are you showing it on the on the screen? You can't. Can you not? Are, here's what's happening on the stage to Ricky Martin. There's I mean, do you have any of, other choice at that point? There's a lot of things going on also, there. That's a beautiful butt. <laughs> My God, beautiful butt. Um, in the moment, and uh, he didn't really acknowledge the fact that he was uh, fully aroused, but he continued on with the whole performance. No, Madonna didn't seem to notice herself, and strangely enough, the footage of Ricky with what seems to be a um, fiddled flesh flute 
Mm-hmm. Comes from his own account. So uh, if he was feeling good, he wasn't trying to hide it. My favorite part of this entire article, we reached out to Ricky, but no word back yet. <laughs> he didn't I respond to that? I would love to see that email. Actually, I do have his response right now. Oh, what did he say? At the Madonna concert on the stage while she sings both. Rind on my hot dog and Uh, got the bird video up. Nice. If you want to catch that, yeah. give me a follow. And uh, most importantly, stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. What, what is the, like, what is the, the golden goose of birds that could land at a bird feeder a hawk, like that? A full hawk. A, like a big, on, a big hawk. An eagle. Or like a bald eagle would be big. It's actually a, a golden goose. Do we, it's not the golden goose can't be your actual golden goose. Do we have hummingbirds or is that not a thing? But that's here? a whole different bird setup. Oh, they yeah, because you got to get nectar. like the, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they don't, they don't eat the, the bird feet. This is not um, me saying I'll never do that. Stand mm-hmm. outside of my house with nectar in my hands waiting for yeah. the hummingbirds. Have you seen the, the hats that people wear? Yes. The hummingbird mask thing, you put it on your face, and the b- hummingbirds land on your mask and, like, eat the... F- what oh, it's what I would do. Yeah, it would be cool. I'd Get, be overjoyed. And, Actually, let's add that to the funeral list. These idiots who made this, though, I found out when they pitched it on Shark Tank, they didn't put, like, a camera in it. And I go, you got a mask on your face, and you got hummingbirds landing on it. It's, like, the most viral thing. Why? The first version, they have a camera. What idiots. Um, quick break. When we come back, I'll yell more at them, and I'll give you the update on this mystery with the Virgin Stingray. What is happening? That Apple River stabbing bomb shells a whole bunch more on the way, and it's coming up next on the news, Chunky. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. There's no major accidents to watch out for this afternoon, just your regular congestion around the area where Vine Street meets John Young Parkway. There's slowdowns there. Colonial Drive by the interstate, there's congestion there as well. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Traffic is up to speed on I-4. No major problems on Florida's Turnpike as well. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. For more information about contests on this station, go to RealRadio.fm slash rules. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair. From simple repairs to upgrades, it's A1 from day one. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Our springs, rollers, and openers are tested by running them up and down, open and closed, all day, 24-7, so you can feel confident with every A1 garage door repair. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the weather starts to warm up, keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling A1 Garage Door Service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Join the Orlando Magic on Sunday, April 14th at 1 p.m. as they celebrate you, the best fans of the NBA, during Fan Appreciation Day against the Milwaukee Bucks. Enjoy exclusive giveaways, special deals on Magic gear, and more. Get tickets at OrlandoMagic.com. 
Do you have information about a violent crime? Help solve crimes with your anonymous tips at Crimeline.org. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Your tips make a difference. Say it here. It's anonymous at Crimeline.org. Paid by CSTF. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. And I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. Here's what a Fence Outlet customer said about their experience. Our neighbor was left in a bad situation when another fence company had them pay for their fence project and never came back to finish the job. Part of their fence was one side of ours. So after five days of no fence with a new puppy, my husband went to Fence Outlet with our measurements because we can do the one side ourselves. Then two days later, Fence Outlet delivered the materials with concrete. Buying direct from Fence Outlet allowed the warranty of the fence to be in our name. We appreciate Fence Outlet for making a difficult situation easier. Go to FenceOutlet.com today. License number C10252 C10803. Sunny side air conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press one. N no, it's. Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press two. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what should we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explain, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't know the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills. A community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov.
We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Home of the world famous game of magnets. This is the Listen to the show for a while, you might know that C Lane was almost the spokesperson for pencils, uh, just like pencils. Yeah, but I'm a pen guy now. Yeah, he moved on yeah. because they turned him down. Really, like it, it hurt his feelings, and he got it's turned down. Never heard to be the spokesperson for pencils, and it he was, was great right ad. there. Yeah, it was a, it was a great ad that he would that he did for him. It's called a spec spot in the industry when they go, hey. We're interested in the show. You guys are very, very, very popular. We want to get on the show. We want pencils to be the thing that's advertised. And There's then remix. you do like a fake one and show them your chops. The funny thing and, about pencils, they're mm-hmm. timeless in the midst of change. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> nine. <laughs> Was it seven or nine? What was nine. the number you said? Funny nine. Thing about pencils. 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 We do that. Pencils. 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 Like a pencil. Nine, 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 nine. It's a good song. That. Thank you. All right, we there you go. DJ's app but available C-Lane for weddings. C-Lane did not actually end up landing the pencil sponsorship. No, 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 no. But I still like this. There was an article. This is a real article that I'm about to read from, all right? It's in the Wall Street Journal today. And I'm always interested in things like small economies. And what I mean by Nerd. that... I mean, I mean this. Hey, calm down there, uh, bird feeder girl. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I supported you earlier. I just like um, crazy looked at all my webcam footage to see if there's any more action. Nothing. Cool. This, uh, this I find to be interesting. And I think you do too. When you were younger, remember when you were at school, there was like a whole little economy at your school. Oh, yeah. And you could like trade things for other things. Erasers. And, yes. Candy, mm-hmm. erasers, anything you might have was part of that little economy that was going on at the school. Didn't even need to involve currency of any kind. The the stuff you had was it. And I swear to God, this is real from the Wall Street Journal today. It says the hot pencil market is helping kids turn lead into gold. And it says every child wants a pencil, especially a carefully carved pencil stub that kids call a mini which is when they get no, real they especially teeny. want a Musgrave pencil. <laughs> Sasha Portnoy, a nine-year-old from Hamden, Connecticut, is among the market participants. One or two mini pens for a box of nerds, or maybe two or three for an airhead, Sasha explains, the pencil-to-candy conversion rate. She says she spends an hour each night sharpening these pencils until they're small enough to trade for candy or slime. Okay, that's a waste of pencil. Pace. That some children need, they say. Sometimes she cuts the pens in half, doubling her investment. They said, well, smartphones are common. Pencils are the new thing. They seem to be using pencil and pen interchangeably here, but they're talking about pencils. Teachers can't hold them. Parents can't get rid of them. Elementary school students can't get enough of it, they said. They're a status symbol. Because why? This sounds like this article was paid by Big Pencil. It does, kind of. And, again, they keep using pen and pencil interchangeably. It says Nora's friend Olivia, she always loses her pencil, Nora said. She tried to steal a beloved Olivia, purple you skank. pencil during her Spanish class. What are you doing, Nora? Remember taking it back. Some teachers keep a, a stash of floor pens, treasures left behind by careless administrators. They lend them to the students, and they get them into the marketplace. They said the impact of the pencil market was so bad last year that Nora's school banned mechanical pencils. Scraps of pencil on the floor marked the new carpeting. Only one teacher enforced the new rule, effectively repealing the ban, they said. And they like these. I used to hate them when you had the little pencil that was like sharpened down to just a little little tiny thing. Yeah. 
and they call it a mini, and it, it's a real tiny pencil. It's just like the eraser is kind of attached to the end of it. And that is like currency in these schools. That's and weird. What's really weird to me is to see that after all of these years, all of these years later, it's still airheads and nerds that are the popular things with these young kids. It's crazy that that's not some like newfangled thing. There isn't some new candy that's come along. Like Ryan Trahan's new candy hasn't taken over that marketplace. But no, here we are. Mr. Beast chocolate bars. Nope, that's not what they're going for. It's the classics that are infiltrating the marketplace here. What was the sour ones? The like really uh, sour, sour Patch ones? Kids? No, no. Warheads. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warheads were real. I, like, I remember abrasive. the first Warhead I had. I couldn't take it. Yeah, they're a little bitch. They're not good. You're eating them. You're just no, like. No, once you get to the sweet part, it's nice. I always thought it was just like a trial by fire kind of thing. You did it, and you're like, I got through that warhead. It's like a fireball. Does anybody actually eat a fireball candy and go, hmm, these sure are great. I didn't like it the first time, but I like them now. Fireballs Fireball? get, like, sweet at the end? Uh, they always so. kind of. They're, they're fireball like, the whole time. Cinnamon-like, I think, is how I would say. But I don't know if they've changed. I, now, now it's all focused on the adult world of liquor. <laughs> Getting your, like, uh, fireball whiskey shots now. That took off. Okay, before we go to your dispatches here. A North Carolina aquarium is releasing an update about Charlotte. Charlotte is the virgin stingray who was found to be pregnant, and there are no males in the aquarium at this North Carolina aquarium with Charlotte. So everybody said, whoa, what's going on? They started to uh, talk about putting up cameras, et cetera, et cetera, but then all went quiet for weeks and weeks and weeks on the Charlotte the virgin stingray front. What was going on, everybody thought? Uh, are, the, are the pups dead? Are there pups over here, too? There are pups in the bat world and there are pups in the stingray world. Are the pups okay? And the aquarium and shark lab had to post online saying the stingray and her pups are in good health. They got some ultrasound results that look Prove okay. It. Theories thought that uh, suggested that th- these babies were dead, that maybe they had killed them because they were worried about what was going to be born. The only other things in the tank with this stingray were sharks. There's going to be a shark ray that gets born, and maybe the, 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 they don't want to Jurassic Park this thing. The skepticism stems from the fact the aquarium shared the first news of the pregnancy in February, and two months passed with no changes. But they said, don't worry. They believe that she's going to give birth soon, and they're going to tell everybody what comes out the other side when Charlotte the Virgin Stingray somehow That's nice She still yeah. hasn't given birth? Still two months later. I don't know how long it normally takes for them. But as of this point, nope, that has not happened just yet. Stingray pregnancy. Yeah, like how long is that supposed to take? Because they're small and, oof, I'm about to say something that probably doesn't make any oh. sense. Okay. Do smaller animals tend to have shorter gestational cycles, or am I making that up entirely? Okay, so like a, like I'll a, tell a, you. A whale would take a long time, and like like a squirrel would take a short time. So um, my parents, Yorkie, just had some mm-hmm. babies. Right. And it was, I, I believe, two months. Uh-huh. And like it was found out she was pregnant, and then it especially the last month, it went from showing pregnancy and it, it almost seemed by the hour that she was getting bigger. Yeah. So within two months, she had babies. Right. Three of them, all healthy. As far as stingrays, uh, average gestation is three to four months for stingrays. Hmm. There's no known data for the gestation gestation period for a, here we go, parathenogenetic, parthenogenetic pregnancy. What's that mean? <sighs> Parthenogenetic? I never even heard that word before this moment. Maybe that's the, the maybe that's the asexual pregnancy, or is that just their their maybe? Kinda... Cyrix on Twitch says elephants are really long in terms of the gestational cycle. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I yeah. thought it was like You're right, big Celine. animals tended to take longer, but maybe not. Go it, ahead. What would what, you see? It, it is uh, Celia was right. Uh, parth parthenogenesis. Gene- mm. You know what? Forget it. That's why I'm mm. not a zoologist. Reproduction uh, without fertilization. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And that's allegedly what's going on here. Save his damn water. Now, you've heard of that in certain animals, in certain species, where they can, like, asexually reproduce. But I don't think that generally happens with 
very large animals. Parthenogenesis. And I, and I don't think parthenogenesis happens with stingrays, generally speaking. But uh, what, what do I know? I'm not an expert in the stingray world. Here is Funny Name joining the chorus of people telling me and Courtney not to touch the armadillos. They said they are very, very dangerous. Hey, good afternoon, guys. I swear that the news junkie, that's you guys. Oh, we talked about that. Hold on. We already, we already played that one. Let's do this one instead. Um, here's Smackerel talking about Caitlin Clark. Hey, what's up, junkies? Hey. Hey, uh, Caitlin Clark, man, she's not going to be struggling. She's number three in the whole nation in the uh, NIL name image likeness money. True. Uh, LeBron James' son is one. Deion Sanders' son is two. Caitlin Clark is three. And then some gymnasts is fourth. Anyway. Some gymnasts. Be okay. Yeah, it's we, what's we, her we, name. I, can't, I always forget her name, but she's the one Simone who's Miles? like. No, no, no. I think it's the one that's super big on social media. The one that all the all the yeah. bros were like, no, you're not so-and-so. Yeah, yeah she's a, she's at a college. That's because that's yeah. where the money comes from. It's not a professional thing. Um, Yeah, whenever somebody mentions Bronny James, I forget that um, LeBron James' kid is playing basketball now, and I think no. there's just another name for LeBron. Right. <laughs> uh, there is uh, Bronny. Uh, that's it's not the worst name though. If I was him, I probably would think it was cool. But I wanted Scooter. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I wanted to get a whole different kind of nickname when I was younger. I'm trying to find that damn cheerleader, the viral cheerleader's name. But she's cheerleader super, or gymnast. Which I, I I don't know which one she is. Is she a gymnast or a cheerleader? Are right, we talking um, about the number four in nil? Yeah. Somebody will I know. think is the gymnast. Yeah, whoever she is, I don't she's, know a whole bunch of cheerleaders are, are you know, uh, getting cashing all the NIL checks. It's all about her postings on on like TikTok and Instagram and those kind of platforms. I think because uh, right, she's hot, right? Yeah, yeah. Just because she's like she posts like from the young college girl perspective, and she's attractive. Here is Eric talking about armadillos. Armadillo, I'd rather arm a citizen. Oh, my God. That was so bad. Do I have time to dump it? <laughs> no, it's too late. Uh, you tried, though, Eric. You tried. I'm not going to blackball you because you gave it trying. a shot. That was not trying at all. He gave it a shot. He just did not land the punch necessarily. Oh, Olivia Dunn. That's who it is. Thank you, Lee Road over on YouTube. Olivia Dunn is the one who has made so much money off of just, like, her social media profiles that it's in insane. And it, what it does is all these other young girls are like, that's what I want to do. Young guys, too. They see these folks, YouTubers, and they see a lot of the, the folks who are influencers on different platforms. They go, that's what I want to do. And everybody has a shot at it, but it, it doesn't mean it's easy. It's not a very easy thing. And there are people who go what you would call, quote, unquote, viral nowadays who still don't make enough money to do that as a thing, as like a solo gig. I've talked before about TikTok. TikTok is notoriously bad at payouts um, and short videos in general, like reels on Instagram. For a while, they hooked or you like in. Sean's like, little videos. No, my videos are the greatest, the best of the best. But the videos that are the short ones, like reels on Facebook and Instagram, they reeled you in with the reels. At first, they said, hey, get bonus views, and here's how many you can make. And people were making twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month and way more to post these short videos on Instagram. And then they said, thank you for participating in this. We would like you to keep making those videos, but now We're for gonna free. We're going to stop paying you. <laughs> yeah, we'd just like you to make them for free now. People said, fine, we'll do it. You know, the longer form videos are where most of the money is made unless you are top, 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 top tier. It's tough out there, man. It's a real tough spot. Um, we'll do one. Start out there for a pimp. It is indeed. We'll do one more. Uh, this is DJ Roxy Fox and DJ Roxy Fox is talking about the story we discussed earlier where the bank, I believe it was Chase Bank, decided that they were going to use your information for targeted ads. So your information on your purchases were going to be used to uh, send targeted ads your way. Here's DJ Roxy Fox. Okay, so my wife works in the bank and they can see everything you can see. All right. They don't really have any information on what you bought, just where it was at. So you went to Walmart, you bought dog food, some alcohol, and Oof. and who knows what else. They can't say exactly what you bought, just the amount, what time, 
and what location. All right, so yeah, that's what we thought. That's what we had assumed was the case. You couldn't see what the purchase was. That's in between the person who's buying it and the place where they're actually buying the thing. Right. But uh, they don't know. I mean, hell, I, I would uh, actually be... Um, I would like it if they had the itemized receipt that I could just look mm-hmm. at my bank account and go, oh, this is what that was there. It'd be handy. Uh, and th- there are some places that are starting to, like, if you use their payment system, you know, have the receipts available to you. I think Walmart's doing it. I, I think there's a way of Publix, but I'm not sure yet, but definitely Walmart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. I like that, but it's definitely not something the bank just has. Yeah, we've seen a lot of improvements in that world, though. Like, specifically, a lot of places now have some pretty stunning reward programs and stuff. And I, I've been really bad at taking advantage of that. However, I am proud to tell you that this past weekend, we officially became Costco members. Once oh, yeah. Again. Back into the Costco world. And originally we were like, let's go have some food at Costco. Let's go eat at like the, the little cafeteria place. And I hadn't had food there in so long. I wanted to get a Costco dog. I'll just be real with you. And we went in there, and then Cordy's like, well, we got to get a membership to do this, so, you know, let's do that. And then we're just walking through, and then, like everything else, you leave a couple hundred bucks deep, bought a bunch of things that you didn't necessarily need. What'd you get? Oh, I forgot. I forgot what we purchased. Three pounds of sour cream? We, we had to go somewhere afterward, so we had to stay away from anything that was, like, frozen or refrigerated. Perishable. Perishable items were a no-go, and we stayed our, our distance away from them. But, God, is it? there's temptations everywhere in that place, absolutely everywhere you look. When we come back, we're going to talk about something that a, a good portion of people say they will never, ever do in their life. And I want to know why. I want to dig into your brain and see why you won't do this. Plus, people thought there was a new feature headed to Netflix. Then they learned it wasn't real. But should it be a real thing? Would this be a great addition to Netflix? We'll see. We'll dive into that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio is... The Monsters in the Morning. Wait, she shot a porno? Yes. No! The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com Travel with caution and expect a bit of delays here. Authorities are working on an accident on Maitland Boulevard westbound just after Forest City Road. Travel with caution through there. There's no major accidents on any of the interstates. Traffic is up to speed on I-4. No major problems on Florida's Turnpike, and it's smooth sailing on the beach line. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 
$1,000 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC1527613. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair. From simple repairs to upgrades, it's A1 from day one. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Our springs, rollers, and openers are tested by running them up and down, open and closed, all day, 24-7, so you can feel confident with every A1 garage door repair. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the weather starts to warm up, keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling A1 Garage Door Service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1 Garage Door today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for three seventy nine. dollars post haste. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Go with your gut. <laughs> your dog's immune system is based in the gut. A diet lacking in nutrients can cause itching, scratching, and a weak immune system. However, there is a solution. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. Dinovite. It took a grand total of two weeks. The dog stopped itching. The hair stopped falling out. Try Dinovite for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Learn more at Dinovite.com slash radio. Happier, healthier with every bite. Over a million pets helped with Dinovite. This ear full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Lose up to 15 pounds per month with Revel X from Red Mountain Weight Loss.
Because the newspapers don't come with cliff notes or potentially offensive accents. Dates on that Apple River stabbing case that are of note and interest. They are really. Every time you bring it up, I mm-hmm. get very moment moment momentary excitement. Yes. Because you're like, all right, coming up this Apple. And I'm like, Apple uh, announcement? And you're uh, like, River what? stabbing. And I'm like, oh, uh, that, that uh, cry fest. Not as fun. Not as fun. But it very, very interesting and going to be a big one when the verdict comes down. I don't know how long that's going to drag out for. But uh, some more developments there that we'll get into. Right now, I want to go fishing, if we can. Let's go fishing, and I want to try to see if we can get somebody on the line who falls into this particular category. Um, Again, we just put them on hold and take to them. I I want to pick your brain a little bit. I'm not trying to make you look like a dummy or anything here. I'm just genuinely, I'm interested in what I'm seeing here, all right? And there's a story out from Gallup today. And it says, EV ownership ticks up, but fewer non-owners want to buy one. Now, EV, obviously, electric vehicles is what they're talking about. And they say 70%, I'm sorry, excuse me, 7% of Americans, up from 4% a year ago, report that they own an electric vehicle. So the number of total people who own an electric vehicle is up quite a bit, from 4% to 7% of the populace. That increase is matched by an equal decline in the percentage say they're seriously considering buying one. So here is the actual poll, and and this will make a little more sense to you now. The people who say they currently own an electric vehicle has gone from 4% to 7%. The people who said they're seriously considering buying one has gone from 12% down to 9%. So that's 16 to 16. It hasn't moved at all. The people currently own or seriously considering uh, buying one. Oh, some would say it has moved. Three of the three of the percent of considering converted to buys. Yes, but the people in that category did not build from where they were. They remained at 16 yeah, 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 yeah. on, on 2023 and 2024. It's just that they converted some of the people who were seriously considering buying electric vehicles over to actually owners of electric vehicles. And people who might consider buying electric vehicles went from 43% down to 35%. And in fact, people who say they absolutely under no circumstances would never buy an electric vehicle hit 48%, up from 41% last year. 48% of you say under no circumstances would I buy an electric vehicle. And I want, to, I want to talk to that person. Why is it that you go, never, ever, ever, ever would I buy an electric vehicle? 407-916-1041 is the number. What's next? Um, They're going to make our burgers out of plants? Well, I want to know how much of this is, like, political. How much of this is, like, you're a traditionalist of some type or something. Because when I look at just the raw argument, I go... What would you like in cars? You like style, right? Mm-hmm. The, the electric cars used to be embarrassing looking. They used to be the nerdy Prius. as hell. The Prius and like even the Volt or some of the, but Teslas. Um, oh, what's the one that starts with an R? Uh, really nah, cool. They, they, no, no. There's there's one that's uh, that's growing in popularity. That's an SUV. Um, I'll think of it in a second. A lot of the other brands out there, they now have some really great designs. And there's major Rivian? brands. Rivian. The Rivian is very cool. Got all kinds of built-in gadgets, gizmos, and all the rest. Uh, plenty. Uh, another thing that you might see in, in a car that you want is those kind of things. The gadgets, the gizmos, the backup cameras. and all. Electric vehicles have superior gadgets and gizmos to all, almost all the other stuff yeah. out there. Tesla has cool stuff. Built into the dashboard. When I uh, visited my parents not too long ago, I they have a Tesla, and I mm-hmm. got to like you know I drove it for a little bit. Yeah, and I gotta say it absolutely is awesome. Oh, and And yeah. um, it uh, there are some features when it comes to like I've had my car I think almost twelve years now, and the idea of an upgrade as far as internally what's happening, making uh-huh. it more you know a uh, greater experience, I'm all for it. Yeah, and, but there were some moments where 
they, you know, have to consider if they're going to come up to Orlando from Miami, it's like, where are they going to charge and how do they um, determine that? And then you get this news story that they're going to make a charge road in which you can drive on it and charge yeah, your car. And like, that's very uh, interesting, but it's also new. It's like, are you willing to make that jump? I saw that story about this road that you were going to drive electric vehicles down and then it was going to charge your car as you were driving it down. And then first they were planning on building it like pretty long and then they shortened it to like a quarter of a mile. And so the road would only charge your car enough to go like the quarter of a mile that it was charging on. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but th this is just uh, an it's, experimental it's a of, thing. Yeah. It's a proof, proof of, concept. of concept. Yeah. I don't even know of any electric vehicles that are right now. People have consumers on, not, not just on the market. People are driving them that could, actually charge when you drive over that because i don't think there's wireless charging is not something that's just been in no. all these vehicles that nobody knew about no i don't think so all right let's let's go fishing here and right. go over the lines uh what do we got here's uh line one all right uh line one go ahead you're uh you're on with us uh, can you hear me say Hello? something say, if you can just, hear this there you are i hear you now just say yeah, yeah yeah that's you so you will never you're saying you're in this category where you will never ever ever buy an electric vehicle right not right now. Not at all. Why not? Well, two things. Um, you talk about cool gadgetry. A mm -hmm. lot of the car manufacturers, motorcycle manufacturers that have uh, electric engines, they you have to pay for some of those features as you need them per diem. You have to unlock uh -huh. them. Yeah. So I'm not really interested in paying any more for the, for the vehicle than what I paid when I bought it out the door. Wait, 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 wait one sec. What's your name? Kenny. Guinea? Kenny? Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, uh, I was going to say oh that one seemed sort of offensive, but uh, to your point, you're saying they'll charge you more for the features that are already built in your electric vehicle. I don't know that that's exclusive to electric vehicles. The BMW yeah, they're doing that, that on gas doing cars that. too. Yeah, I think they're doing that on on other vehicles too, as far as I know. So that wouldn't be just be like just a thing that was a problem for electric vehicles. Is there anything else? Oh, sure, lots of other things. Uh, on the political side, um, there's the issue with cobalt. Mm -hmm. Obviously, cobalt is the number one ingredient in the in the the battery system, and seventy three percent of that cobalt is mined from a single area in, in the Congo, and basically those are owned by the the Chinese government owned mines, and the conditions there are deplorable. Um, people working in flip flops, and cobalt's obviously a hazardous material. There's no safety. And all of that material is mined and sent up the chain, and those people are getting paid a buck or two. Would you say would you say that you put your other uh, purchases that you buy through that same kind of rigorous hey what what's going on how are the workers treated? Yeah, I've had to reconcile that. The amount of cobalt needed for cars is way way more than what's needed for a cell phone mm. or a laptop. Right. So I, I do weigh on that side. Um, in addition, um, I'm not too happy about the recharging of uh, the different systems. You got Type One, Type Two, Type Three. Mm -hmm. um, when you just get like to the herpes. charging station, yeah. When you get to the charging station, then you have to it has to synchronize, and it's a, a two way communication to the charging system. And it may not recognize your particular vehicle. It just got done charging a Tesla, and now you got a Bolt, and now it's got to rethink about it and get the proper software to feed into the system. And right. You so you're saying like 10, 15, 20 minutes. The, the charging grid is not up to snuff for what you would like to see from it. I think overall, though, like let's say you're a Tesla driver. As far as I'm aware, Tesla drivers are like the unicorns. You could charge these things anywhere you want. You know, you could you could charge a Tesla uh, at any place that is Tesla or otherwise set up for charging. And then when I think about like, OK, you, when you look at vehicles for like the traditional, yeah, I want a strong car. Electric vehicles are so much faster than gasoline power vehicles. Electric vehicle, like a Tesla, I used to look at. Uh, but have you driven one though? It is very bizarre. What, the, it's because like, it doesn't make all the noises. No, it's the go kart style. So like you let go of the quote unquote gas pedal and it breaks. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That, Immediately, and like that took some getting used to for sure. When you when you it was miserable for my mom to be like, uh, maybe shouldn't have. Uh, invited Sabrina to drive the car because we were just <laughs> stopping and going and stopping so and going. You, you have to learn how to kind of thread the needle there yeah. or, okay. Oh, for uh, sure. But it's fast. I mean, they're incredibly fast. If speed is what you're after, 
the electric vehicles can, you're just never going to beat them within a gas powered vehicle. It just doesn't work that way. And when I look at it, I go style, speed, technology, uh, reliability looks to be in a really great spot now with a lot of these cars. And some of you are saying that you would do hybrids. Hybrid is the last thing I would do. I hate the hybrid option. Oh, see, I mean, I the car that I drove in Ireland was hybrid, and mm-hmm. I loved it. Yeah, it I don't like how they expensive. shut off, and then, like, you're at the stoplight, and you hit the oh, gas, and, vroom, yeah. and it turns back on again. But when you're I in the it, car, you don't notice. It's like really? when you're outside of the car where it... Because I'm the same way. I'm like, stop turning on and off your car, stupid. It's weird sounding, right? Okay, we'll see if uh, we hear from a couple more of you. we got to get into that jury duty with the Apple River stabbing update and a lot more on the way. And a share the show Tuesday. What? Apple River stabbing again again with the Uh, Apple stabbing. Get a new watch. I mean, I'll just get it over with. I'll just rip the Band-Aid off when we come back and get that done so I don't keep doing that to you. Quick break. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Someday, Alexa will do everything. <sighs> Alexa, can you unclog the toilet? Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. But until then, just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Playing Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Are the commanders eyeing Jaden Daniels at number two in the draft? It's what I'm told. Washington needs a reboot at quarterback, and although Daniels is a bit thin, he's quick, twitchy, consistent throughout his college days. Most of our stars had major red flags, but Daniels knows how to improve. He's gotten better every year of his college career, and I think that ascension continues in Washington. I'm Colin Cowherd. The utterly inspired all-electric EQE sedan from Mercedes-Benz. With hundreds of customizable comfort settings inside the cabin, it's the EV that recharges you. The vehicle is all-electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. Learn more at mbusa.com slash EQE. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm R.C. Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Delan and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Mills Air and Business since 19- 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron. New South makes windows that are both energy efficient and hurricane resistant. New South is the factory and eliminates the middleman. New South windows are made in Florida. For Florida homes, by Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Going on now, save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Call 1-800-NEW-WINDOWS. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Go with your gut. Your dog's immune system is based in the gut. A diet lacking in nutrients can cause itching, scratching, and a weak immune system. However, there is a solution. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. Dinovite. It took a grand total of two weeks. The dog stopped itching. The hair stopped falling out. Try Dinovite for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Learn more at Dinovite.com slash radio. Happier, healthier with every bite. Over a million pets helped with Dinovite. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. 
Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. He knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters. But then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited LeafFilter.com slash beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit LeafFilter.com slash beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Office of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Dispensing unsolicited advice on a wide range of pointless topics. It's the Stabbing updates, including a disastrous appearance on the stand for somebody involved. But we were talking about the uh, the folks in this latest poll that said they would never, ever, ever, no matter what, get an electric vehicle. And the number of people is growing. And it's like hardened. The amount of people are like, nope, I would never, ever, ever get an electric vehicle. I think it's hard to, uh, I mean, that, that's a very absolute thing to say that like, you know, unless you're like 90 right now, mm-hmm. and you're like, listen, the end is near. I can see the last few steps, and in that time, I'm never going to get an electric vehicle. But even the guy that we just talked to on the phone who had his facts and his figures, and some of them seemed a little kind of out there, like this charging station having to download new software for every car that it charges, Right? don't think that's a thing. But even that guy said, I would never buy one now. Right. So there is, there's got to be the uh, p- room. potential for a mind change. Yeah, and they're saying right now, like 48%, it's up from 41% last year, 48% of people saying they would not buy an electric vehicle. Uh, I just heads up, I'm a little vested. I damn near bought a Tesla this weekend. Oh, okay, uh, just randomly? Uh, I feel like yeah. that's well, I, not I was, on I, the whim kind of purchase, considering. It's, it's time to get Courtney a new car. And okay. Or looking at like what to to get her, and uh, I've slowly but surely have talked to her. I don't think she's gonna like it. She wants one now, but she at first was like, "No, I don't want an electric car. I don't want." One. She was in that category of people, and I said, "Why?" And we're going through it, and I'm like, "All right, let's think about this. If you think about security of your vehicle, that's an important thing, right? The electric vehicles, a lot of them, Teslas in particular, they have cameras all around the exterior of the vehicle." If somebody so much as yeah. scratches your car in a parking lot, you have HD video of them doing it as that happens. Yeah, but that think about I found cool. Th- too. It is very cool. But think about what I said earlier about the the doorbell videos. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have HD video of your car getting scratched, and, and never you're gonna never find gonna find the person that did it. True, it could be. Uh, we got folks still waiting on yeah. the line. Let's go back to the uh, the fishing right. here. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Donkey. Hey, what's your name? Well, uh, Jen. Jen, why would you never, ever, ever consider getting an electric vehicle? Well, 
see, Lane, I'm not 90 and see the end, but I am half of that. I'm 45, and mm -hmm. I, in my lifetime, never, ever foresee getting one. There's, like, a, a host of things. It's, it's not political, but mm -hmm. I do have a problem with them mining and using up the resources that they say that we shouldn't be using to mine. But the, my, my biggest uh, point is the power grid. Like, if, if you know what your power bill was five mm -hmm. years ago, ten years ago, however long ago, compared to what your power bill is right now, and you have no say-so in the matter. You, right. have to, you, have to, you have to pay whatever they pay, or they just shut it off. Well, here's the thing, though. Hold on. Frustrating. Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. What, one, one thing that I've heard about this, and uh, again, there's room for me to be wrong on this. I don't think I am. But from what I could tell, it looks like if you have a new vehicle like a Tesla and you're charging it up, it's like 40 maybe $50 a month added on to your power bill. Now, I don't know many people who put less than that in their gas tank if they're driving to work pretty regularly. So are you, is it that you're worried that down the road, no, they're just going to no, go not, ahead? It's not, it's, not the, it's not the cost that I would incur. It's the cost that I'm already incurring for the people who are having electric vehicles. And yeah, I mean, every, every analysis I've ever seen on the cost benefit of it, it mm -hmm. costs more in power than, than to operate it with gas. And the other thing is, a lot of people, you included, uh, talk about the scarcity of resources, whether it be like the cobalt mine stuff or whatever. But obviously, that's also the case with you know fossil fuels that power the the vehicles that you are willing to drive right now. Does that not seem like it's, it's a little hypocritical to you? Well, I mean, I think I think there's a healthy balance. So, like the people that that the group that I'm in that don't want them, it, it's it's count, it's kind of counterbalancing. So. Sean. Sean you know, rarely knows where he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I need yeah, all I mean, of these things. I mean, I got a sunroof. I don't have OnStar. I mean, I, like, I don't okay, know. Okay, OnStar is a bit of a throwback. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I know, I, right? I'm 45. Like, but like, look, I don't, I mean, my, my car has all I need, and I don't, I don't feel that I need more than what I have, but that's me. Gotcha. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, there is a balance. There's all right. side, of course. a side, wherever on one side, and there's people who are seeking out that. And that's, all right. That's fine thank, you thank you. Thank you for the call. Appreciate the points. Uh, we got to run because we got to get into a couple other things here. But the reason why I wanted to ask this is because your side is winning, right? When we look at the data here, the, this story from Gallup saying that we've gone from 41% of people saying they wouldn't buy an electric vehicle to now almost 50%, almost half people are like, no, I don't want an electric vehicle. I look at that and go, How? They've become cooler over that period of time. They've become faster over that period of time. They've become safer over that period of time. The designs are good. The, the ability to upgrade it like a computer or something, as opposed to other cars where you can't do that anymore. And it's no longer this, like, I want to get my hands dirty. I want to work on cars. If you're buying a new gas-powered vehicle, you're not tinkering with the thing. There's so much going on under the hood now that it's not like you have a, a Chevy 350 with a four barrel carburetor. Oh. You pop the hood and you're working on things. It's all, it's all electronics. You have every bit of as much electronics in that minus the battery and the electric motor. And I, I just, I think people will all eventually segue over, but I want to hear more of this. We'll we'll talk about this. It'll be an ongoing. We'll go back to segues. Kind of uh, that would be cool too. I'm down. I'll take those, those are electric. Suckers. I like that. You just you can't have anything like that in the office because Sabrina used to oh. crash her. Oh. Oh, okay, first of all, never did all that. Right. So stop spreading lies. It was Pinkman's <laughs> fault and another um, 
employee well, uh-huh. who ruined everything. But remember, um, how, remember how popular those were for that period of time? Mind you, Why? there's been a uh, renovation uh-huh. of both uh, physical and administration. Yeah. So should I bring it back? Nobody's going to know. The new boss won't know that the hovercrafts are banned. He'll be like, these are all, uh, encouraged here. See ya. They, they told us we could bring our dogs and ride around on our hovercrafts. I need That's how we work. This is the future. Okay, we are going to get into jury duty. We are going to get into C Lane's up and down story of the Apple uh, River stabbing oh. case. And we are going to hear from more of you. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Bumper to bumper traffic due to an accident on Colonial Drive eastbound at Bumby Avenue. The left lane is blocked there. On I-4 this afternoon, no major problems. Maybe a bit of congestion through the city westbound between Princeton Street and Robinson Street. Traffic is up to speed on Florida's Turnpike. No major problems on State Road 429 or the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Go with your gut. Your dog's immune system is based in the gut. A diet lacking in nutrients can cause itching, scratching, and a weak immune system. However, there is a solution. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. Dinovite. It took a grand total of two weeks. The dog stopped itching. The hair stopped falling out. Try Dinovite for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Learn more at dinovite.com slash radio. Happier, healthier with every bite. Over a million pets helped with Dinovite. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan, help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Man, I'm really glad to tell you about this great sponsor. It's Life Imaging FLA. They've helped save the lives of several of my friends and a bunch of our listeners thanks to early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer. You know, it's Stress Awareness Month, and one of the things people stress out about is how their health really is, and you don't really know unless you have a scan. Life Imaging FLA can help you get that scan. Matter of fact, they'll give you a free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is a value of $699, and you can get in there it takes about six minutes. I was able to go in, and I know my heart is all good, thanks to Life Imaging FLA. You pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, you say the words free heart scan, and you will be connected in seconds. You'll get the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. When you talk to them about the free heart scan, ask about the cancer screening. That's super important as well. It's Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the words free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman. 
Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term. It's called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait to the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters. But then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited LeafFilter.com slash Beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit LeafFilter.com slash Beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. Reasons to hate electric vehicles or to be against electric vehicles thus far. I mean, I've appreciated the, the conversation. I appreciated the points. And I think a lot of people think that they feel strongly about a thing. Like, I don't, I don't honestly believe, say what you will about me. I don't honestly believe people are not buying electric vehicles because of what's happening at cobalt mines. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a moment. I don't think people purchase things that way. I don't think they filter their purchases in that way. I don't think they apply that same logic. You don't I, think anybody I, does, or you don't think it's widespread? I, I don't think it's widespread. I mean, is there? Like, there's always going to be uh, people on the fringes and stuff. But I think the average person, if you've got 50% of people saying they'll never get an electric car, I do not think that 50% of people are like, I don't like how it is at the cobalt mines. I feel like I do when I'm talking to somebody who's uh, against nuclear power. 
where there's just not a lot of compelling arguments coming from the other side. But, you know, I'm still open to, to hear that. We'll get some more dispatches in and we'll get to those momentarily. But people are upset because we have not gotten to the Apple River stabbing updates as promised. So here goes nothing. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only, Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. Comp. If you are in an accident, you need an attorney oftentimes, and you want somebody who's going to treat you right, who is going to hear your story and is going to fight for you and not solve it based on uh, or settle it, I should say, based on some sort of algorithm that says, oh, then the case is done. This is all we could juice out of this. No, you're a person. You deserve to be treated like one. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. All right, to it. The trial of Nikolai Mew is underway right now. For the uninitiated, let me bring you on board. We've been covering this here and there. It's a very interesting case. It's also a very frustrating case. So Nikolai Mew was a guy who was 52 years old two years ago when he decided to go with a group of friends to the Apple River. All right, in 2022, Nikolai Mew went to the Apple River. Sounds like a Columbus 1492 or whatever. Sail the um, ocean blue. Yeah. So Nikolai Mew went to the Apple River in 2022, and he went with a group of friends. One of the members of his group lost their cell phone in the water in the Apple River. That person said, forget about it. He's like, no, I think I could find it. And Nikolai Mew had um, like a mask and, and a snorkel with him, and he liked to kind of snorkel around and, and do that stuff. He got a ways away from his group. He was by himself, and he found himself next to a group of teenagers to 20-somethings. And uh, they were, many of them, drinking. Some of them weren't old enough to drink, but that only plays in a little tiny bit to this story. Um, Nikolai Mew oddly went over to these uh, teens and early 20-somethings, the younger folks, and kind of got in by their their tubes that they had all tied together to go down the Apple River. It's a real cool spot, you know? You sit in your tube, you float around. It's like a giant, natural, lazy river in beautiful Hudson, Wisconsin. So he goes over, and he kind of, like, puts his hands on their tubes a little bit, and then he backs off. And all of these teenagers seem to be in on some weird conspiracy to act like he's a predator. They're like, he's over here trying to look at young girls. He's trying to, you know, uh, be a creeper. He's a pedo and all these weird things that they tossed out. I do not know why to this very moment they decided to do that. I but think there was a comment that he said in the I, video. You can you can vaguely hear and can't even really make out. It's just the reaction of them that it was mm -hmm. clear he'd said something. And then that's where they took the reins and. And ran with it. But they, they went even further. You know, I, I, I'll play the guy's testimony in a second because it was kind of jaw dropping to me. Why they continued, even years afterwards, to try to insist that this guy had done something inappropriate with young girls or was doing something at Apple River inappropriate with young girls. Years afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'll, I'll explain in a moment here. Um, but they, they continued to do that. And Nikolai Mew says, I didn't do anything of the kind. What happened was I'm an older guy. They were a younger group. They didn't want me around there. They were like creepy old guy. And they started a bunch of crap with me. There is no doubt in my mind, a couple of things. Number one, uh, they were bullying this Nikolai Mew guy. They were uh, trying to harass him, bully him and say all of these things about him. that very clearly were not true. Uh, also, and this is quite important. We don't know what the real precursor was. There's there's some people among the teenagers and the other group that say that Nikolai Mio punched a young woman who was with this group, that he hit her, and that's what precipitated the uh, response attack on him. And then from there, now we know what happened. If you don't know what happened, well, Nikolai Mio stabbed multiple people, including 17-year-old Isaac Schumann, who was killed Four others were wounded in some way. Dante Carlson, Tony Carlson, Riley Madison, and A.J. Martin were all injured. Uh, some of them stabbed in a very, very significant way with really bad injuries. So 
I don't know what started it, and I don't know that we ever will because we don't have the video footage of that particular moment. We only have people's stories in the moment. And there's we no have, other witnesses. Like, there no one are, else was at the river that does not know either of the groups. Not that has a better uh, overview of it. You know what I mean? Like, there was groups that were further away that didn't really see what was happening. All the people that saw it was the Nikolai Mew guy, 52-year-old, and the group of all of the teenagers, 20-somethings, that were on the other side of this. So, while I think that they were horrible to him and were bullies to him and for some reason wanted to treat him like this, I still think that he knew full well what he was getting into. And I think he had a desire to do so for some reason. I can't ever understand why, but this is why I believe, I don't know if they'll get him on their their strictest charge, whether it be first-degree murder or otherwise, but I believe the jury will find Nicholas Mew guilty in this case because I can envision this world. The people who, who like almost surrounded him, you know, they gathered around him, tried to intimidate him. They were shouting all these things at him. They were treating him like crap, right? Those those kids, if you want, that were doing that, I could see that he they were a threat to him, right? And I could see that if all of a sudden they started attacking a threat, him, and, the life like a life threat, like a like that a could deadly be, threat, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent, yeah. Perceived if they, by him at the moment, yeah, positive. which is all. It, that's all, all it takes is for him to think reasonably that his life was in danger because he's drastically outnumbered. Even knowing that he has the knife? Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not considering the knife in, in what I'm saying just yet. I'm saying that I can understand why he would suggest that his life may be in danger because he's drastically outnumbered and he knows that these people dislike him in the moment, right? But... Once the first guy attacks him and he stabs him, there's a point there where it seemed like Nicholas Mew just was stabbing everybody. He stabbed yeah. the woman. The woman didn't even hit him. He stabbed the woman who just happened to be like next to him and stabbed her, I believe, on the side. He stabbed some of the other people who weren't even directly engaged in a fight with him. Now, three of the people were, I believe, but some of them were not. And it seemed like he was just kind of wildly swinging a knife to hit all of the people that he could without considering any of the, the outcomes that are going to follow, obviously. Now, there was a moment where um, he, I mean, before that uh, escalated to the stabbing point, mm -hmm. that he came back, like yeah. where he was clearly away from the group and then approaches and puts himself back in the middle. So it's like yes. at that point, how can you claim self-defense when you had your moment to get out of the situation? Well, that's why they have a good uh, chance at this first degree Homicide. I think that's why they charged him with first degree, honestly. Well, and that's why they meticulously, the prosecution showed, hey, we think he's touching his shorts pocket here because he's trying to feel for the knife. We think he's got his hand on the knife here. They're trying to show he knew what was going down, he knew what was happening, and he was eager to get into an altercation with these folks. Are not on YouTube says, look at the video. He was kicked in the face after being shoved in the water. I am not suggesting that he was not attacked by these people, but listen to me. When I know for a fact, after all this went down, Nikolai Mew, when the cops approach, pretended like, well, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I heard that they think I did something. And then proceeded to say, yeah, they all pulled knives on me. And I grabbed one of the knives from them, and I think that's what I was stabbing them with. Uh, that's just, <laughs> everybody just knows that's a lie. He knows right. that's a lie. That's clearly a lie. Now, what makes this difficult is those teenagers also lied and lied and lied and lied and lied again. But what did they lie about? You just they lied about multiple things, including the whole uh, situation with the guy being a creeper. Now, let me give you some evidence of that. Larian Davis was one of the people who was there who witnessed this, and this is C. Lamb said, "What do you mean? Two years later, they were still trying to do it." Well, I years didn't realize later, how long ago this happened. Yeah, this this happened in 2022. Yeah, so. Um, years after that, they bring Larry and Davis forward to talk about what he saw here. And this is an example of why I have frustration with the other side of this, right? Listen to this testimony. It's almost unbelievable. Here it is. You also said to the police, he came out of the bushes and he was taking pictures of the girls. Yes, I said that. You saw that? No, I said that. I, I understand you said it. Did you see it? Yes. So you saw Mr. Mew 
with his camera that afternoon taking pictures of little girls. That's what you're telling this jury. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's what I said. No, I, like I said, I understand you said it. Is it true? Oh, I don't know. Why Come on, dude. It? If you don't know if it's true. It was a lot going on. Okay, all right. So you you posit to the police, all right, that this guy was a creeper. He's in the bushes. He's taking pictures of little girls. Are they saying little then, girls or the girls that they were with? He said little girls there when he rephrased it to him, to Larry and Davis to talk about. He said, I believe the phrase little girls uh, or young girls. I'm not sure which one of the two he said. But he said little he girls said, just now. So, so he says to him, you told the police that you saw him with his camera and you saw him take a picture of little girls. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told him that. And he goes, but did you see that? No, 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 no. Well, but did that happen? And he's like, I don't know if that happened or not. Well, you told the cops that. What are you doing telling them things and going, I, I don't know. Good, I, don't good think I've ever, I don't think I've ever heard anybody be so nonchalant about admitting to lying to cops. Yeah, he, this was after. Like, yeah, that's what I said. I mean, did they get a camera from? No. There was they didn't no find camera, it, nothing no. on his phone. There was, there was not a shred of evidence to show that this guy was being a creeper, that he was looking at little girls. They just started shouting that, and they kept up with it years later. It, a lot was going on on March, 7, on March 7th of 2024? No, that. It's actually argumentative. Overruled. Won that one. Say it one more time for me. I should make sure you understand. Okay, on March 7th of 2024, you have a... You March. have a... Hold on. You have a recorded interview with uh, investigators O'Keefe and Justness, I think. Okay, all right. Pronounce his name. They speak to you about this incident, right? Yes? Yes. And on March 7th of 2024, you tell these law enforcement officers that he comes out of the bushes and that he's taking pictures of girls. Right? Yes. Yes. That's not true, is it? I guess so. Oh my wow. God, that's, dude! It's it's hard to say because like that's what I recall from the the day that happened. That's what I was telling the officer. Okay. You'd agree when you were interviewed by the officers back in 2022, you never said anything about him taking photos of little girls, right? Um, I don't remember that. God almighty, man. This is bad for, for the jury, right? This is bad. This is that a, was a month ago I said that, prosecutor. though. This is a witness for the defense that was saying, you know, here's his angle of, of seeing this. Um, and it's like... But the, it's the defense uh, I'm sorry, that's I'm sorry. interviewing him. I'm sorry, I, I apologize. It's the witness for the prosecution uh, against Nicholas Mew. And this is the cross-examination yeah. of him. And he is supposedly the one who saw some other things going on, but he just fell apart there. Like, that's really, really bad for the prosecution's case. Don't they the discuss this statement. with him ahead of time? You think so? Uh, it sounds like he just made it up. It sounds like he just straight up made up this thing that he wanted to say because they were all going to get this guy and dunk on this guy. And it's a shame because otherwise I would have said this guy's response was not commensurate with the level of damage that he found himself in or the level of danger, excuse me, that he found himself in. It was not commensurate with the level of danger he found himself in. And no reasonable person would think that, that you needed to, with this happening, not uh, back up, recalibrate, and approach this from another direction, but just swing wildly and mm -hmm. stab everybody that you possibly could with a knife. I think that the guy was grabbing the knife. I think that he was interested in getting into an altercation here. I think that he knew that these people were screwing with him, which they were, and they were having a good time at his expense, and he was going to get back at them. And I think he probably would have been justified to stab the first kid that he killed. I think he probably would have been justified to stab the first kid that he killed and say that was in defense. He didn't know what was going on. But I think all the other people, and that's what he may be found guilty on, all the additional people, especially the the woman, uh, Riley Madison, who was just like kind of there, and he just starts stabbing in her direction. I think they're going to get him on that, and I think that would be probably the right outcome in this case. I don't think it's cut and dry. I don't think it's creeper old guy 
was just hell bent on killing these kids and he went over there to instigate. And I don't think it's that, but I think that he knew what was, was happening. And I think that he went too far in his response. That's my yeah. take on this. Uh, let me know what you think. Go over to the news Send a dispatch right now. A lot of people watching. The stand. Oh, did he? Nick and I did. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I that, that, watch that. That. Yeah. That must've been today. I'm interested to see that. I know his wife has been with him, but I think his wife may have um, filed for divorce in the wake of this. I think I saw that somewhere out there. And uh, a lot of these younger folks, you know, they seem to like have banded together at some point to try to align a story against this guy when the story should just be that, again, his reaction wasn't commensurate with the level of danger that he was in. He could probably get away with the first interaction, but then you can't just... Like, like, say I go into a Publix and a group of people surrounds me and one of them pushes me and I push them back and then we get into a fight and I get into altercation with that person. As they pin me down on the ground, I take out a knife and I stab them because I think they're going to, to kill me and I believe that I'm in danger. If you did that, you might be justified in that instance. But if you got up and then just started stabbing all of the friends that were behind yeah. this guy, at some point you've, you've breached the amount of defense that you're allowed to claim under the law, as I see it. Um, hey, I'm no attorney, but what do you think? Go to the newsjunkie.com and send a dispatch our way right now. I know that one has people, you know, it has people very divided. And a lot of people are like, ah, this guy was a boomer. Will you folks get it in a row, man? Will you get it in a row? Boomers are not people. This guy's 54 or something. Yeah, he's 54 years old. That's not a boomer. People lost track of Generation X. This guy's Gen X. That's what he is. He would be in the confines of Generation X. And these younger kids are are probably Gen Z. I, I would think most of them I mean, probably the are Gen Z. The umbrella term for both is not is supposed to be for the case and individuals. No, but it's what, what's turned uh, what this has turned into in like comment sections is this boomer was going around and messing with the Gen Z people. Uh, it's, it's not that. It's just two people. One was perceived as older by the younger group. They thought they would screw with him. They thought they would bully him. Maybe they had a couple of drinks in them. And then he responded in a pretty damn wild way. Um, that's, that's how it appears to me when you look at the evidence in front of us. And I, I looked at the makeup of the jury. And you got a pretty good selection of people on the jury in this case here. Uh, and I think that matters for something like the Apple River stabbing. If you had a bunch of people who were all boomers, I think you'd have a likelihood that they go, these kids effed around and they're finding out. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get. You don't do not do this. It's uh, unfortunate that this happened. But the blah, find blah, blah. out shouldn't be someone killed. Well, man. That, Come that, on. But, but that, the argument is neither here nor there. I'm saying what the jury would think if they fell into that demographic uh, category. That's that's my guess as to what they would think. There would be a, a an ideology and a thought process amongst older jurors where they might go, eh, "You screwed around. It's unfortunate that you died." Then, but that's what happens when you do this. This person allowed to defend themselves from your bullying. Yada yada yada. But you've got younger people. You've got quite a bit of women on this jury. You've got the witnesses pulling up their shirts and showing the jury. The significance of their injuries, don't think that's not going to play in. There's no way you, you look at the injuries done to this person, that doesn't have some impact on you. There's no way you don't hear about the baby shark story. These are all emotional things. Of course they are. And should they matter in the, the court of, of, uh, of law? Maybe not, but in all reality, they do. In all reality, these things do. And both the prosecution in this case, they've relied heavily on emotion of seeing the attack of talking about the lives lost and the youth lost and here's the stab wounds, et cetera, et cetera. And also the defense has done that as well. Nicholas Mew's attorneys are like, he uh, was bullied by these drunk teens and they didn't want him around because he was a creepy old man just because he was old. Everybody's doing that very same thing. It's a battle in the courtroom right now. Okay, when we come back, there's we'll a hear battle from you. on the comment section too, man. Uh, is it? Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of boomers on the YouTube version of this, or the uh, the today's video where he he did take the stand, mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a lot of uh, all these kids, uh, kids with uh, booze and drugs. What could go wrong? That's why I said that because I, I can see what's happening with the arguments there. It is very much 
compartmentalized into people who seem to be a little bit older and they seem to side with the guy who stabbed these these younger people. So, and the people who are younger are like, he could have walked away at any minute or at any moment. They, they, they're viewing it from a totally different lens. I, I'm, I'm seeing this a lot, and I don't know if this is something that uh, we already knew uh, for the trial or if it's something he testified to. He had just had surgery or something. People were like, yeah, if you just had surgery, this is your first outing. Of course you want to defend yourself. I'm like, that has nothing to do with it. Either. No. Come yeah. on. Like the guy yeah. was a whole, guy's carrying a knife in case anybody wants to mess with his surgery scar. Right. Get that's a here. stretch. Yeah. That, that's a huge stretch, I think. Uh, this feature that they teased was part of Netflix, but it wasn't. And people were upset because they actually want this to be a thing. We'll get into that, plus your response to everything that was just discussed. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Travel with caution. Uh, authorities are still working on that accident on Colonial Drive eastbound at Bumby Avenue. The left lane is blocked there. You can expect your regular congestion where Vine Street meets John Young Parkway. There's a bit of congestion in all directions there. On I-4 this afternoon, there's slowdowns eastbound between State Road 535 and approaching Central Florida Parkway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. What could you do in 15 minutes? How about a premium oil change? At Valvoline Instant Oil Change, our certified technicians will guide you in, use only premium products, and get you back out on the road in no time. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. All right, folks, my friends at Maxine's on Shine are here to make your week even better with Maxine's Mind Boggler. Big congratulations to last week's winner, Melissa. Now the first person to answer this question correctly wins a $25 gift card to Maxine's on Shine. Here is your question. What mythical creature is Scotland's national animal? What mythical creature is Scotland's national animal? If you know the answer, email me, sabrina at realradio.fm. The first person to answer correctly wins a $25 gift card. If you don't win today's question, well, don't worry. You got a shot every single week. Plus, you're going to feel like a winner every time you visit Maxine's on Shine. Go to Best Downtown Orlando Restaurant three years in a row. Diverse, comfortable, and delicious with a splash of sexiness. For more information on location and reservations, visit MaxinesOnShine.com. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay Frankgayservices.com. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? <laughs> You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Did you know it's Stress Awareness Month? There's a lot of things to stress about. One of the things that people stress about, though, is how their health is. You really don't know unless you have some sort of symptom. Guess what? Life Imaging FLA can help you with that. Early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer is a game changer when it comes to terms and treatment. And I was able to go to Life Imaging FLA, had my heart scanned, and guess what? I have nothing to stress about. My heart is really good. But other people have gone and found out they had blockage. Get over to Life Imaging FLA now and get this free heart scan. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is a value of $699, and it is worth it. Life Imaging FLA, when you talk to them about the free heart scan, also inquire about cancer screening. That's super important as well. Life Imaging FLA, you'll get the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Life Imaging FLA, pick up your cell phone, dial 
pound 250. Say the words free heart scan. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. If it plugs in, turns on whatever the make. Get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too, for a free coverage. Quote now. Call 800 Fix It 77. That's 800 Fix It 77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 Fix It 77. Online at goeverythingbreaks.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron. I'm the president of New South Windows Solutions. What I like people to understand about our company is what's unique about us. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. We go out of our way to make it easy. Going on now. Save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30%. 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Back in time. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more. All commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. The most viral newsroom on the planet is still humming along. This is the... Somalia, you're sending them over at thenewsjunkie.com. At least I hope you are. What's all I this I'm hearing? Some of you are. What, what's all this I'm hearing? Over? What concerts are you going what? to? No, I didn't say I. I, I said I want to go to more Listening concerts. To our conversations. I yes. was, I was, I was eavesdropping. It is not an eavesdrop. Okay, you know that I hear half of these conversations. Yeah, what she was just you saying. You don't hear my we, part. You just hear Sean's response. Yes, that's yeah. the half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, she was. Uh, Sabrina was saying. You know, uh, there's got a big concert coming up, and the person throwing the concert had uh, suggested that if I uh, wanted some tickets, so you know, all of us could go to the show. And, and with the attachment, like I know Sean's not going to go. Yeah. But <laughs> I wanted to extend the invitation, and I didn't but want him to think he wasn't invited. I said, I said I was the same thing. I said I was thinking about actually going, and I want to go to more concerts. Courtney and I have been talking about that. We're trying to do all kinds of stuff. We're Let's getting all out there. Let's go to a show together. When was the last time we went to a concert together, guys? I, I would do that. I my thing is always that I just I don't want to be like in the mix of things, and I hate this to come across you want a like sweet. I know I don't want it to come across that way, but I know it's going to come across that way. I want to be somewhere where I can comfortably watch a live concert and. In some cases, that seems harder than others. Like, sure. say a band is playing at like the House of Blues. I just saw, you know, Fritz was at the House of Blues not that long ago. He hates that venue, <laughs> and and we uh, love them though. Thanks, House of Blues. They're not paying us any money. Uh, and and House of Blues, Fritz is right. There's like obstructed views everywhere, and Sean's it's all just stop. 
I want a nice spot where I can sit. If you'd like to go to House of Blues and have a nice spot, then I say we end the House of Blues now. I don't care about House of Blues in particular. (laughs) In fact, now I'm anti-House of Blues. Okay, I am not. I'm Sabrina Amber, and I love the House of Blues. Thank you so much. I I went to a hard rock show uh, this week. I went to Teddy. Did you? Teddy Swims. It was during the week, actually. I don't know him. Who's Teddy Swims? (sighs) You haven't heard Teddy Swims? No, I'm not familiar with Teddy Swims, no. Golden Voice. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fun fact about him, started off in football and is a football coach when he was in high school. was like, you guys need extra credits. A bunch of you need to go to theater and do those classes. And it turns out he had a golden voice. And now he um, is touring. Every single show he's had on this tour is completely sold out. Damn. And uh, Uh, I feel like like you've heard one of his songs. Lose Control. a glee story uh, where you go like the kid on the football team also needs some extra curriculars. Oh, not that one. Um, here, like, hey, this is- oh my God, everyone has a little <laughs> bit of an intro. Hey, here. this is Teddy hey. Swims. Oh my God, Teddy <laughs> Swims' his intro is over at Hard Rock. Somebody who, who did a Photoshop of a Netflix feature. It wasn't real, but everybody wanted it to be afterwards. Talking about Adam? And, uh, uh, no, they, whoever made this said on Netflix, um, look at this feature they just launched. And it was somebody watching Bridgerton, and the feature said, skip the foreplay. And if you were watching with, like, your family, you oh. could hit a button, and it would skip all, like, the foreplay scenes. That's and the any best kind of, part, man. Like, sexual stuff. And people were, were saying, oh, I'm mad that this is not real. It's an amazing idea. I would pay for this feature. No kidding. Somebody else says, and I did not know this was a problem, would have really benefited from this when watching Oppenheimer on a plane a few weeks ago. There's sex scenes in Oppenheimer? I have yet to sit down for three days straight and watch Oppenheimer. Yeah. So same. I just thought bombs. I haven't watched it. Uh, it was on the queue, and then uh, somebody brought up that Is there like, wait, sex when you think in- about how uh, op- what Oppenheimer is about, you think like, oh, a movie about nuclear bombs and war, and it's like, no, mm-hmm. this is just uh- the drama about inventing the bomb. There's not like it's not an action movie, and and I was like, okay, how long is it? Oh, it's three hours. I got the juice, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you got? Fortunately, IMDb has a parent's guide for Oppenheimer. Oh, perfect. And, okay, what do uh, we need to know? It says a female and a male are shown, not once, but twice, Uh-oh. having sex with bare breasts Uh-oh. and explicit thrusting, as well as nude during a post-sex conversation with extended bare breasts and chest shown. Is uh, there... Regular thrusting, and then what did they call it? Explicit uh, thrusting. Explicit thrusting. <laughs> I think it's explicit versus imp- implied thrusting. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, they're they're showing the actual thrusts. The action is on display. Okay. Uh, my tie on YouTube says on the Apple River thing. Oh, I was I thought it was a tech update. Yeah. Now, thanks, Elaine. A lot of people getting in on this. Uh, if they hadn't have put their hands on the guy, talking about Nikolai uh, Moo. And knocked him down and slapped him. S wouldn't have happened. That might be true, but I want you to use your your brain. You're a smart guy. I know you are, or gal. I don't know. My tie 2.0 doesn't give me much, but I know you got a brain up upstairs, right? And this he just is doesn't not... know what you have downstairs. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I'm <laughs> unsure, right? So you say if they hadn't have put the hands on the guy and knocked him down and slapped him, S would not have happened. You know that that is not a legal argument, right? Like, that does not constitute a legal argument. You can't go, well, they slapped him and they pushed him down. So when he eviscerated five generations of their families and burned their kids at the stake, he was justified in doing so because if they never pushed him underwater, then they never would have been in this circumstance. Okay, Obviously, you know that that to be the case, unless you're really, really smooth brain. But... 
if you'll acknowledge that that's the case, then you probably acknowledge that there's a point where your response becomes out of bounds, legally speaking, with what had happened to you and what you were defending yourself from. This is what I'm explaining. This is why I'm saying, were I to be a juror and see what I've seen so far, I would say he's probably justified in the first person he stabbed that he killed. But the four other people that were stabbed here, some of them I don't think as a juror I would find justification, especially the woman who, the girl who was stabbed. I, she wasn't hitting him. She wasn't attacking him. She just happened to be near him, and he started stabbing her. And he stabbed her uh, uh, at least once, if not more times than that. So you got to gotta use your brain. We're not trying to go, it would have never happened if they didn't do this. You're, you're supposed to be trying to analyze what the result of this case is going to be what the verdict is going to be, what verdict he deserves for that matter. So that's what I'm more interested in. And we'll hear some of that. We'll get to the final dispatches. We'll do the stories that didn't make the cut. And, of course, we'll do Today I Learned to Wrap Everything Up for a Share the Show Tuesday. <laughs> it's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Ice cream for your ears without the brain freeze. The Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson, and a beautiful day is underway across central Florida. Temperatures will be on the warm side with highs in the low and mid 80s. We'll see plenty of sunshine today with increasing clouds by late tomorrow afternoon. Even hotter temperatures arrive for tomorrow with highs in the upper 80s. Shower and storm chances increase for Thursday. A few could be on the strong side for our northernmost counties with gusty winds and heavy rain. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 15.9. The popular Eclipse Cross in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander 5-star safety rated starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed. Because my team works hard every day and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride. And you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com that's rchill.com credit requires bank approval negative equity may be refinanced vehicle purchase price determines actual discount get ready magic fans it's time to celebrate all that you have given to the orlando magic during this special 35th anniversary season join the team for fan appreciation day on sunday april 14th against the milwaukee bucks at 1 p.m Enjoy the celebration where they will honor you, the best fans in the NBA, with exclusive giveaways, special deals on Magic Gear, and more. Secure your seats today for this exciting game at OrlandoMagic.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. 
Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution, and that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month, and it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to redmountainweightloss.com. That's redmountainweightloss.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, oh, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com, and with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safelight take care of everything. Safelight repair, Safelight replace. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. They're modern day con artists, and they're the focus of creating a con. A true crime anthology podcast. Season one spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam. Endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather. And built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. And I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. The free iHeart Radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness to help you feel planty good. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. When good things go bad, bad things make headlines. This is the... And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Tuesday. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We, as always, appreciate you and... Now, let's see what we can work in here before we clean everything up for the day. Thanks to everybody who shared the show today. That's, that's always very, very nice of you to do. We appreciate that. Uh, and here goes nothing. We've got Abominable Mormon talking about the uh, Apple River case. Let's see what they say. There's a reason that in these like gun safety courses or your concealed carry course mm -hmm. that they really focus on 
not using it and are you prepared to carry this thing and the repercussions because we naturally as people if you have a weapon on you it's almost like a crutch and if you start to feel uneasy you start touching it like oh my gosh I I may need this thing and then that psychs you out even more into thinking that you will need it right did he really I don't I don't know I see Lane you say like he has a knife why would they still attack him I mean Kyle Rittenhouse had a gun and people still came after him that's Uh, talk that's not what I meant. I meant uh, he has a knife, so he should feel less like his life is in danger mm-hmm. because he's able to use that if need be. Like if I if I, if I were like walking through a, a, a town at two in the morning, you know, and it was very empty, I, f- I would feel a little uneasy. I'd feel less sure. uneasy if I had a gun. Of course. So yeah. like you know, if, if his decision, and I, I don't know if the courts if courts weigh this, your decision. To act based on uh, the perceived threat to your life, if uh, having a weapon weighs in on that or not. Yeah, one thing that people just don't get because you you fall into these uh, silos of argumentation that are very detached from anything that matters, and you go oh, f around and find out, and you, okay, that's that's the camp that you're in, or you go. Uh, he could have avoided all of this and nothing had to be done. And these kids didn't do anything wrong. And you, that's your silo that you're living in. None of those matters. You're not having conversations that matter to the outcome of this. You know what matters more than many, many, many things right now? Th- what the jury thinks about one really important, simple fact. Why did Nicholas Mew, if he felt like he was defending himself and felt like he had to do what he did, why did he lie to the police afterwards? Yeah. Why did he say that they pulled knives on him when he didn't know that there was video footage of, of the event? And that Why was definitely, say- definitely because uh, because it's so widely known and because it's, it's, it's uh, obvious that he lied about it. Mm-hmm. It's one of the things they attacked while he was on the stand in court. He definitely admitted to lying. Yeah, and he, he didn't have a choice. He's like right there, pinned up against the wall. And the jury knows that, right? Just like the jury knows that these these kids weren't, the way they maybe put themselves out there. I say kids, you know, some of them teenagers, some of them in their early 20s, but you know what I'm saying. These folks, these, these younger guys out there were definitely harassing him and lying about that or downplaying it. So there's a lot in the mixer here. But what matters is how the jury views all of this stuff. That truly is the most important thing. All right, here we go. Let's get the hell out of here, friends. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Today I Learned this lady right here. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. That's right. Marilyn Monroe was a method actor, they say. She studied. It was awful. Hey, was JFK, was he married when that all this was going down, yes. or was he a single guy? He was married. I don't think and we've the, ever had a single president. That was You're, the whole I, thing, that yeah. he was, uh, was cheated on her. But could you imagine that happening now? They're, they're in a relationship, they're married, and then there's somebody clearly very sexually approaching mm. them in such a public way. Biden that was just falls never. out of his chair. <laughs> It would never happen now. It would be so weird. So anyway, she studied with the method acting pioneer Lee Strasberg, who also taught actors such as Al Pacino. You know him, I'm sure. Robert De Niro. And even James Dean was taught James by Dean. Lee Strasberg. Today I learned you're in good company, perhaps, if you stared a little too close to the eclipse John Quincy Adams partially blinded himself looking at the eclipse in 1791, they said. Uh, By the way, if you didn't see it, have you seen this guy who reviewed the eclipse? No. No. (laughs) Guy in New York City's like, three out of five stars. It wasn't even good. It was, it sucked. Here he is. So that bum ass eclipse just happened. And I'm going to be honest, it left much to be desired. This just felt like a big old waste of time. All that hype, all that promotion. Like it was all over the news. All the weather people were talking about it. All the conspiracy people. people were talking about it. He goes, about- it's like three out of five stars. Wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. That's over on, you know what? I'll retweet it real quick. So at the news junkie over on Twitter. And here we go. Today I learned this band right here. Fuel is correct. What'd you say? Nothing. 
Jane's? Oh, Jane's Addiction. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Fuel no, is just the band. Jane's favorite band, which is obviously <laughs> this one. Fuel. And they're, the song Shimmer, of course. The band Fuel is still around these days. But as of 2024, they've been through a total of 21 different band members over the years in this group. It's a lot okay, of people. So it's lot just a lead over. singer that just has guys that play with him, right? Yep. Until he pisses them off. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Miss any of the show? Get the podcast over at thenewsjunkie.com. And guess what?